Yeah, we've been recording. I hit record with Mom. As soon as y'all sat down. Um, I feel like my shorts is in my butt crack right now. Okay, wow. with that. Yo, it's your boy DJ A back in the <laughs> building. Break Room Podcast, episode 36. You know who we got in the building today. We got Lamont 330. Yo, yo. And back in the building, of course, we got Coley Cole in the building. Hell yeah. Break Room Podcast. (laughs) Damn. Damn. Cracking cracking jokes. My bad. I'm Uh I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Coley Cole. Dang. Yeah, my God, you're going to hurt my feelings. Dang, Cole. Cole, you got to bring your mic just a little bit closer. There we go. My bad. My bad. Okay. All right, man. But what's up, y'all? We back in the building. Episode 36. I know I said 36 last time, but you this did. is 36 this time. Wow. I counted. I mean, I counted. Hey, you got to get the But, yo, I know this time because we're going to start potting a lot freaking more. Okay. You know yes. what I'm saying? So here's episode 36 for that ass. 36. You know what I'm saying? But, shit, what's up, y'all? How y'all feeling, man? I feel lovely. Do Doing you? Real good Do today. you? Yeah. Doing real good today. Hell yeah, that's what's good, man. You feeling good? How was how was your week? Busy. Here, here we are, Friday, the Friday pod. It's always the most chill. Very When's the last busy. time we pod? Was it Monday, Ma? Or yeah. Tuesday? No, we no, pod Tuesday. Tuesday. It was Tuesday. Okay, Tuesday. yeah. See, tu- Tuesdays yeah. be like a little more more like in the middle of the week type. Like we really didn't get to turn up. That was a good pod though. Yeah, I'm, that was cool. My bad for being extra high. I'm sorry. It's okay, Ma. I was we extra good. high. You're already always extra. Yeah, yeah. He was extra, but he was extra high that day. I swear, I can't wait till this pot is over. I'm a joke. About to fuck her up. <laughs> I'm a joke. Damn, man. I need some security in this bitch. Security! <laughs> Top flight security. Damn, hell yeah. So, what's up, man? So, what y'all got planned for the weekend? Work. Work. My life is so boring. I need some friends. You ain't got nothing going on, huh? You can hit Cole up on our OnlyFans. Oh, I don't got no OnlyFans. That's oh, bad. you don't got one. My bad. I'm sorry. Oh, dang. I need some OnlyFans for my feet. Oh, wow. Damn. Coley yeah, fans. I got cute feet. <laughs> So, coleyfeet.com. Hell yeah. Motherfuckers be buying feet pictures. Don't act like y'all don't like feet pictures. I don't like feet. Well, I don't like feet at all. Not, no. but remember someone said so people are buying Kev is, pictures. Kev is the one for that. Maybe that's what he needs in his life. Some feet pictures. Yeah. yeah. But don't do it because his wife will kill us. <laughs> Send him some pictures. Shout out to Kev. <laughs> I know he probably don't even watch this shit no more, but you still a homie, Kev. I can hear his wife now. Whose feet are these? She left. <laughs> These are calls from the podcast. I Why are you all. worried about her feet, Kev? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, we ain't t- throwing shade. I fuck with Sheila. She's a shit. Uh, oh, shit. I better bleep her name out. <laughs> no, it's all good, though. We ain't say her last name. Hell yeah. But man, summer's upon us. What is it like? Day three of summer? Day two? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Day one. Isn't summer the And it's 21st? been hot ever since it came into summer. Mm-hmm. You know that? It's and been 90. First day of summer? Hey, man. What do, they, what do they say? Global warming is an effect. I love it. Yeah, it's hot. Hell yeah. It's definitely definitely it. a little warm out in this bitch. I'm cool with it because I was looking at my little snap history and it said like two years ago it was the same shit. It was 96 outside. It's always warm like this, but then like in July and stuff it'd be colder. Yeah, I'm cool with it. I don't say mind. August. August. Well, August. It started getting cool. Yeah, I do not mind the, the heat. I mean, I I'd rather the heat than the cold. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? I like both of them. It can be hot or cold. No I don't cold. want fucking snow. I hate Why? Snow, anything snow under, sucks. Like, you don't like snow? Like no. I don't like driving in. I don't like walking in. I don't like waking up to it. I like looking at it in pictures. That's it. I don't even like looking at it in pictures. I like the winter time because it's more snuggle time. More and snuggle like, time? Yeah. You can snuggle any time. <laughs> no, I mean, but the winter time is most definitely snuggle. Yeah. We don't, snuggle we don't do snuggling time. over here, player. I ain't. <laughs> I'm all tired of you. I know it's going to be a fight, so. Dang. Cole, you've been single for how long now? Mm, I'm loving it. I don't know. I don't even know. Like years. T- ten years? No, it's not been ten And you're cool, you're cool being single? Yes, definitely am. You ain't got nothing to deal with? Nothing. Nothing at all? Because I don't do the drama and the bullshit and the, where the fuck you at? Where's your, put me wow. on location. Let me go through your phone. I don't do all that. So I'm just going to stay single. Somebody used to call I me. mean, I don't do that shit either, but I mean. A lot of people do, though. Like. Yeah. Like, I, mean, I don't care where you're at. I don't care what you're doing. Like, I'm the type of girlfriend that, like, I'll call you and be like, oh, how's your day? Okay, good. Oh, okay, I'll talk to you later and not talk to you until, like, 10, 12 hours later. Damn. Wow. Like, I don't be on. So you don't love shit. them? Hmm? So you don't love them is what you're saying. 12 hours. You go 12 hours without talking to your significant other. I could. And I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't be like, well, why the fuck well, I mean, you I guess me? you don't have to be mad, I guess. But, I mean. Yeah, no. I mean, it wouldn't bother If you me. think about somebody, I mean, <clears throat> I, I I, don't like I like to text. All... I like to just shoot a hey, baby, love you. How you doing? You know, how's it going at home? 
or wherever you're at. I've been single for too long. Maybe yeah. someone needs to break that. So cycle. you said you don't call them and text them. Because you're only awake for so many hours. For about you know I mean? 10 hours? <laughs> that's that's wild. Yeah. 10 hours? You Like, if you was with somebody, you all, you all text them, like, 10 hours? I'm just saying, I ain't about to be on it. Like, I ain't about to be, like, every five minutes. Like, what are you doing? Where are you at? Who are you talking to? Oh, okay. I get blah, it. Blah, blah, blah. I ain't saying in general, like, I'm going to go 10 hours. But I'm saying I could go like a long amount without talking to somebody and not be like, well, what the fuck was you doing? Why didn't you call me? And well, where you been at all day? Like, I don't do that. Yeah, that's annoying. Shit. That's annoying as fuck. And I don't want no one doing that to me. Not that I do anything. I go to work and come the fuck home, but still. All right, cool. I got a challenge for you. I no, saw this shit. recently on the internet. I just want you to go home and try it, all right? I want you to go home. Video tape it too for us, okay? okay? All right, now I want you and Nico. Take Nico, sit him down, and say, Nico, I want to ask you, and answer, tell him to answer truthfully, why does he think you are single? Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, I just, I just want to, because, listen, yeah, I, I'm, I... I'm curious to what... Why well, see, because I saw a video of it, and the girl was like, he, she, he had, she had three kids, and she asked them all. She goes, well, you do nag a lot. And the other one was like, well, you are kind of like this. And, and like they all kind of started shooting down at us like, oh, <laughs> oh damn. Yeah. They went at her it's so heavy. And she was like, wow, okay. I, 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 could, I could call Tyler right now and be like, why do you think I'm single? Uh, yo, do it, yo. Go ahead. Let's do it live. Let's do it live. Because you're a pimp. Yeah, Nico at Red Lobster not, right though. now. I'm not, all right, go ahead. All right, we're back in the building. Cole is about to call her son live and ask him, I am. why does he Think she's this is gonna be a good answer. I want to hear oh, this. Yeah. Let's go. Great. Right. Let's park the oh, Tyler, don't let me down. Yeah, let me see that letter. Oh, FOMO. I wonder, can you hear this? Yeah, yeah. Hey, son of mine. Are you busy? Um, I'm eating right now, but not really. Okay, I just have a real quick question. So we're doing the podcast, right? Tell me live. And we're we're live. So, and I have a question to ask you, and I want you to answer it truthfully, like no matter what the answer is, okay? Okay, hold on. I'm around. I'm around my guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, this about to be good. You go ahead, Tyler. Come on. <clears throat> All right, what's up? Okay, so why do you think I'm single? Why do I think you're single? Yeah, why am I single? Why have I been single for so long? Because you put a man and a woman part. You're too manly for real. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That was a great answer, that was Tyler. Amazing, Tyler. Okay, well, like, <laughs> how am I, like, elaborate. How am I manly? Okay. Like, well, I mean, I don't know. You kind of got to, you know, I mean, you get a little aggressive sometimes for what I be seeing, you know. It just kind of scares me sometimes, you know. I get a little frightened. Wow. <laughs> You scaring the fucking kids? But, but no, um, I don't know. You got you have like a certain type of standard, and like I don't know, you kind of just think like, man, I, I could just be so much better than this all the time. That, that's that's just from my my point of view. Oh, you know, my I, stand. I don't know how it'll be, know how it'll be between uh. You aiming up here, huh? So my standards are too high, or I'm just too used to doing stuff by myself, or what do you mean? I, th I think it's probably you're too used to doing stuff by yourself, so you're like, man, I've already done all this by myself, so why would I need somebody? Great answer. That was a great answer. Great answer. Tyler, everybody. <laughs> great answer, Tyler. <laughs> thank you, thank you. My God. Okay, we'll see. Maybe that, and that's why I said maybe someone needs to break the cycle then, right? Yeah, I I, yeah, I think I think it's because I never really had like a man. How old is Tyler? Twenty. Tyler, I got a question. I know one real quick. How would you feel if you found out your mother was talking to somebody your age? I mean, she dang your ass. Oh <laughs> wow! <laughs> Put you on blast. Like, like mid mid to later twenties. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty five ish. Yeah. yeah. How do you? Okay, okay. See, kids tell the truth. I mean, yeah, I know. Hey, was that, that, did you look at her face when he though? said that? Her face looked oh. like, shut up. Oh, what was that one dude that was on the cameras? Every, uh, every time I come down, Oh, Stefan, he's like 30, 34. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Every time I, I was talking to a different guy. Every time he come down, it's a okay, different but guy. Let's, let's <laughs> let, me, let me rephrase that, though. My son don't come down all that often. No, he but, come down like once a year. But no, see... See, like, my thing is, is 
I give people chances, but as soon as you do some fucked up shit or some shit that I think is weird, I just don't talk to you ever again. I think that's my problem. I don't got patience for, like, anybody. You really don't. Maybe it might be the... I mean, but, but, you know, I mean, sometimes that's all right, you know? I mean, obviously, you need to have some patience with some people. But yeah. I mean, if, uh, you know, if they do something kind of crazy, then, you know... And I don't like drama and bullshit, so if I see anything starting, I just stop talking to the person. And, like, never, t- I will never talk to you again, and I don't have no feelings about it because I don't give a fuck. Yeah. That's how you got to be, though. You got to protect yourself. Yeah, that's, that's protecting your peace. Right. I wish sometimes men need to follow suit like that. Men hang on too long. Sometimes. Yeah, I don't hang on to shit because there's. You know what I'm talking about. I'm, uh, I know fellas that have. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I, I think it's I'm so used to doing everything on my own, like. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe I just be like, well, fuck it. I don't even really even no, need you. Know. Like basically, you was just some dick. What? When it comes Whoa, down to it, you know dick. what I mean. Whoa. Whoa, Dick! That, yeah, look, true I'm, that. look, I'm just being honest true though. That, That's that. one thing you always yeah, yeah. get from me is honesty. Yeah. All right. Well, let's let's just try to get back to this dinner though. Okay. <laughs> well, I hope not. But all right. That's all I was calling. To ask. I love you, and I'll talk to you later. I love you. All right, Tyler. All right, all right. Tyler. Yes, sir. See y'all. Bye. Right. <laughs> hey, but did you see your face when he's like? I said, dude. See what I'm saying? That's why yeah. we got to ask our children these yeah. questions. Now I can't I'm wait to hear what, what Nico's, Nico's gonna say. Because Nico. Nico's gonna say he in the middle eating too, isn't he? Shit. Nico huh? gonna be he eating too right now, isn't he? He's still yeah, red, he's lobster. red lobster. Damn. Nico gonna he gonna bring the pain. <laughs> Cole, Cole gonna want to fight. No, Nico. he's the one that's gonna say nothing, mom. You're perfect. Oh, I can yeah, see I him love, saying something I love like Nico, that. Nico, though. No, you know what Nico's gonna say, and I honestly, this is probably gonna be his answer because you're too busy with me. You don't got time for a boyfriend. Ooh. I guarantee that's exactly that's what Nico's gonna say. I mean, but a lot of a lot of relationships now don't even add up no more. Well, that, that, that's what it is. A, a lot of people don't give their all to a relationship. No that's more. facts. Man. They that's they definitely. they be like, let me let me get let me hit real quick and get the fuck out of here. That's basically what it be about. And a lot of these dudes, they they, I mean, like a lot of dudes soak women up, and then once they soak them up and they know they got what they want, they move on to the next. So it's basically like a that ain't no man shit. That's no, no. I, I'm not shit. saying yeah, like yeah. that's man shit, but that's what's going on nowadays. If See, you, and I don't let that happen to me. Yeah, yeah. I don't know nothing about that. Because like, shit. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, I talk to a lot of people, but like right now, no, I don't. No, there's like one person I'm just texting, and that's not even. So you only text one person at a time? Yeah, I don't do all that. So, that's okay. sloppy. So you just get like one fun fling every once in a while, huh? Mm-hmm. See, those Basically, are, those are I fun. See, I see where it goes, you know what I'm saying? But then, like, so you get to stay in a fucking honeymoon phase forever, all the time, pretty much. Pretty much. You know, as soon as one's <laughs> dead, it's like, hey, brother, yeah, I got something else to do. This guy over here got a bet. Well, I don't ever have like, <laughs> ba- I don't ever have like backup plans. Like, oh, if this don't work out, I'm gonna start talking to him. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I just, I go with the flow. Like, Hell yeah. I get a million inboxes a day, but like, damn, I don't, don't want to say million, but damn, I get a I lot. Say, you you know? All right, well, hey, let, let's let's expose some. No, no names called. It. What's some of the lamest inboxes you have gotten? Like, like seriously, like that shit is dumb. Like, what's the dumbest shit you fucking got? The dumbest. Oh, uh, well, I don't want to say like, I got some pretty dumb shit. I can't even think about. It. But like, one thing I hate. Is do not send me dick pictures or oh, money wow. pictures right off the rip. They send the dick money pictures, pictures off is rip? weird. Wait, yeah, dick like, pictures I, off rip? Dick, is, off no, rip. dick pictures is strange already, but oh, yeah. that, at least that has a mission. Why are you sending me a picture of money? Look, and like, what the I f- respond to wow. is that that's the only thing you got to offer yeah. is some dick and some money. Well, I can get dick that's anywhere like, and yeah. I make money. That's so like sending you a picture it. of weed or something. It's like, yo, look, I smoke. But, but like, <laughs> like I was just saying. You know what I mean? Like, who cares? But like I was just saying, bro, that's that's the new age. That of, might impress a young guys. bitch. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Someone who pays over $3,000 a month in bills by herself. Damn, 3000 bills? Damn, I don't right. even spend Damn, that much. Call, call, my car balling. payment is like eight hundred, almost $800. Wow. Damn. my car payment. Damn. Like, you got bad credit? No, <laughs> I ain't putting the business out there, but I got horrible credit. In my, I got a big ass oh, truck. Oh, okay, shit. well, I got a 2024 that had two miles when I got it off the oh, lot. Oh yeah, that's okay. different. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. I don't. Fill it, fill it. I mean, my car payment is seven hundred eight dollars. So I, but, I guess I elaborated a little bit. I just say, saying, like, I, I just, feel like that's a lot, but but I'd, I'll, I'd, I'd have good credit. I'd have to put any money down on it. Oh yeah, that's why it's so high. Yeah, yeah. that's why. It's if so if, high. Put, if, if you would have put five hundred dollars down, you would that should have been like six hundred. Yeah, that probably yeah. would have lowered it a little bit. But yeah. I put no money down on it. I was like, 
It was like you got a six eighty something credit score oh, or whatever. Shit. I was See, like, I got shit. horrible credit. I got to drop like, my whole. I, I gotta like, put everything, everything I got on that. Bitch. Yeah, look, I gave. That's him, why I still got my truck now because I ain't got. Shit. I gave him the Malibu and I drove off in the twenty four. Yeah, so. I need a new car, man. You need to hook me up with somebody. Any yeah, any I'm car right. dealers out there, man? Hook your boy up. I'm trying to trade my, said, my, I need my truck a new in. Car. Anybody can hook you know me up. Hook your boy. I don't want nothing fancy. I just want something different. I like pick. I like not pickups. I like SUVs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I used to like the bumps in the back, but I ain't into that shit no more. Well, see, the, I like the factory car, bumps. Okay, the car I got, the factory system is fucking horrible. Oh, Kia's fact. I love Kia. I look, but Kia's factory systems in your car, you need to do something about that because that shit is weak. Oh, that's horrible. That, that's horrible. Yeah. I'm I'm blessed. I got uh, GMC. That shit. That shit. Look, be I'm rocking. gonna tell you, the Ma, you got the what you got the Benz out there. Yeah, that shit definitely got a system in it, don't it? Yeah, I ain't really have My to. Malibu? I really didn't have to get what? nothing. You got anything? Mind. Nah, I I was gonna get some speakers in there, but then once I went into the like the um the uh, uh, nose, he was like, "Bro, you don't need speakers. Ben's got the good speakers." Yeah, I'm gonna say they got like yeah. the, the AKGs or whatever. Yeah, it, it sound like it sound yeah, like I got fire. highs in there mm-hmm. if I cut it all the way out. Yeah, no, nah, I know the, the bitches be rocking. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say, Cole, right. I got a I, I got a, a deck if you need one. I think I got a touch screen or something in that bitch, though, don't yeah, you? Yeah, my screen's like oh, never mind. Yeah, you got like one. It's... You just talk about the speakers then, uh. Yeah. You know you can replace those, right? Unless it's a lease. I wouldn't fuck with it. No, it's not a lease. lease. Oh, yeah, you can replace some speakers for a couple hundred bucks. Seriously. I need to do something. Well, I'm going to bring it over uh, and have yo, you listen. Well, have outside. one of them young bucks over there hook that shit <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> talking to. That's one what you need to do. You need to start. Need go places that you need shit done. Holla at them motherfuckers. That's I don't like to. Yo, if I was a girl, man, my shit, I'd be rocking shit. Everything. I would have new clothes all the time. I would have new, my car be fucking. Guys spotless. like offer to like buy me stuff and give me money damn and stuff, but I don't right. ever do it. Dog, take it. Yo, though. if I was a girl, I would have OnlyFans. I'd be a stripper. I'd fucking man. I'd be everything. But then I'd be in the gym all know, day. You'd be so like a strip out. club all night. Mm. Oh, so but then guys out. start losing respect. I, I for tell you what, I won't have is my, oh, motherfucking kids though, because I don't. I don't like guys still. <laughs> if I was a girl, I mean, could you could you guys be with a female that was in a club every night no. who was a stripper Hell and no. who had only fans? Hell no. If she, well, no, nah, that's what I'm saying. A girl like that, I assume she ain't looking for a man. She's looking for the money. Oh, you know what I'm saying? My cousin dated. Well, I'm looking stripper. for money too, but not in that type of way. But that's what I'm saying. Like, listen, you ain't got a man, so you ain't you could do that if you wanted to. Oh, I would never. I'm Mark. saying, yeah. So I mean, you don't want to. It's just because you're not in that life. Right. But once you get in there and it's like, yo, I'm literally not sucking no dicks over here. I'm not fucking no. thousand dollars just to show my titties. You're literally doing nothing. But, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, but. but No, we, I got the, actually the, the manager or uh, the house, house, the head house girl, they call it or whatever, for the strip club over here. Um, she, She's actually going to come down here with a couple of her girls and we're going to have some conversations here soon. Oh, okay, and y'all yeah. going to be here for that. Okay. okay. Right. Well, I definitely ain't gonna be no stripper. But, but a, a stripper. Oh, then we gonna go inside million, there. That's where we doing the food, the food review. Okay. Because they they got the they got them bomb nachos and the, the, the but, chickens and whatever. But the, but the piggyback know. off what you said, my cousin dated a stripper and he went through hell. Mm-mm-mm. His emotions was so crazy. Oh no, you, you like, like I I never seen nobody act like that. Like the first time he, he cried, didn't he? He brought her he brought her through. And she was like showing love to everybody. She was so friendly. That's to what's, where, yeah. To where I was like, she's selling your ass a dream, player. Well, like, yeah. And he he walking around with her like, yeah, this is my girl. But she get numbers from people, and he used to be like, man, she building she clientele. Think I'm stupid. I'm like, bro, well, she, she a stripper. She, she, like, that's, that's what they what do. What you do. thought she was? Her do. job is to sell you the dream that you could fuck her. Mm-hmm. That's literally the dream. That's what she's trying to give you. you know them saying? little male strippers. I had a couple of them like in my inbox. I'm like, yeah, no, I'm just not interested uh, at all. No, listen, I believe he them. Trying to get you the glizzy. Yeah. He That's was cool. like, I got this glizzy on rap. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Yo, yo, they got. I would never trust anybody like that. Well, see, I don't know if they like trying to fuck or they're trying to build a clientele basis. Also, you know what I'm saying? I mean, but then again, guys is guys. I don't give a fuck how much yeah. pussy you got because the the dudes that, that were at the show I was DJing yeah. at they. I saw them at Speedway afterwards. You know, I stopped there to grab some munchies, and they was up in there getting some food. I was like, "Yo, what y'all? Y'all all together? Y'all about to go to a party or something? Like after party or something?" They're like, "Nah, we going back to the hotel. They coming to us. We are." You know the what I'm saying? Party. He said, yeah. "Yeah, that's exactly what the dude said. He said we are the party. He said they they gonna come to us. Yeah, because they gonna mean? spend more yeah, money. So what he did that. was I was I saw the one dude. He went oh. over to the finest bitch in there and got her number. You know what I'm saying? 
I'm like, all right. Yeah, yeah, he did come up to me and ask me for my number. Oh, but did I he? Told him no. <laughs> yeah. And then he inboxed you with the glizzy. Actually, it was the girl that it was the girl that. Re- <laughs> Look, she laughed because she knows it's true. Yo, it was the girl that, that's who sent her that removed. It was the girl that he accidentally went into her shits because she didn't have no oh, drawers. Oh, she didn't have no drawers. Yeah, on. it was that chick. What? Wait a minute. He did what? Oh, I told the story, but we didn't put it out. I forgot to tell you that last episode of the week mm. shot didn't work. He did, wait. He went down on her and she had no panties on. Yeah. Well, because he was doing like the stage show. He had like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He would spray whipped cream all over her. But he had a towel on her when he put the whipped cream on her. And then he like whipped the towel off and like like was pretending like he was going in there. But oh, she didn't have she didn't have drawers on when he went he down in there. in there. So he definitely, he definitely was did. mouth full of muff. You know what I mean? He was like, die. Yeah. Damn. I don't See, know. That's the like one he got her number afterwards. I would like to interview the strippers though, because like I was gonna try to get him down do? here, but I figured they was busy. Like well, yeah. <laughs> but like what would you do though if you was a male entertainer? And you did that to a female, and you went down there, and it was just smelled like rotten. But you had to continue with your show. Like, would um, you get well, up, or would you just like hold your breath and still do what you was doing? I assume what I would do if it was me, I would just hover my face above it. Like, I'm not putting my face actually in the shit. It's for show. You know what I mean? See, it's a like lot, a movie. But, but a he lot didn't of know that, that, so he accidentally put his face. Because yeah, I'm sure he probably playing yeah. on like rubbing it through the drawers. You yeah. know what I mean? Because that yeah. bitch is probably love that shit. You know what I mean? Because these bitches were like, they treat these guys like Santa. Santa. They want to sit on his lap that bad. Well, because seriously, the dude sat at the chair on the stage like this. And he just had his little Speedo thing on. And, and like the girls would come over and they would just drop money on him and then climb on top of him. And like, I ain't dropping money you know. on nobody. That, was, yeah. that sounds like a great job. That's what I'm saying. It sounds you know like I mean? a great job. That's what I said. Like, that shit changed. Like, it, it really fucking showed me some shit. Like, I ain't know they was doing, girls was wild like that. He mm-hmm. said, hey, listen, baby. that line was longer than the Santa I line. I bet it was. For I each, bet, listen, because at, at the end of each each guy's set, he would go up to the stage. Like, the one dude, he would, like, throw a girl on the ground and, like, grind on her and shit. You know what I mean? And, like, that's, you know, like, put his face in her muff type shit. Oh, and then shit. the other dude was just, you know, he must have been tired because he sat down and the girls would just come up to him. Uh, he had bitches, like, throwing their coochies funny. in his face and everything. Like, I got a video. The one, there was two girls climbed on him, you know what I mean, at the same time. I got to find it, but I got a video of me the one time I went to the Mel review. And you got wild. I, well, well they was See? getting wild Come on, let's with talk me. about it. That's though. what I'm but, saying. Yeah. But you're like, I oh, never... if I was there, I would never. Yeah. But if you was there, you'd be like, oh, <laughs> oh dick. Well, it's a vibe in there, you know but what I'm saying? No, and when... you got your boy on the turntable. You know how to turn it up. Yeah. You know but no, I mean? it was when I was in Florida. Me and Jaleesa and all them went to Florida, and we went to like a little strip show or some shit when we was down there. And I literally was just sitting there like this because I think the whole thing is corny. You know what I'm saying? So the guy came over and like grabbed my so arm. So why did you think it was corny and, though? Because the way they dance and stuff, like that shit looks so uh-huh. corny. Like that shit is not sexy nor torn like turn on for me. Okay. A guy up there going what? like this and like. Was the majority no, of the not. girls going wild in the room now? Yeah, everyone. Well, that's was I like, guess it wasn't that damn corny. Yeah, it but it's wasn't corny, that corny to me yeah. though. Hey. Seeing a guy up there like. Why? What makes it corny? Because like, is it a masculinity thing? Like, no. is he not? Is that not man enough? Where he, no, like I mean, a man shouldn't look, pop his, his shit like that. No, they look manly, but I'm just saying, like, it just. I I'm just know. trying to break this down a little bit. Even the video, yeah. I'm trying to defend a man because okay, so the men video, can act corny. You can act corny if you want, but you that's feel not me? attractive to me. Why? So a man has to be manly all the time in front so, of you. So, so what is your attraction to it to make you attracted? I don't know. Like they look good. Like if he came out with a Glock swinging his. Yeah, she like, <laughs> yeah, like, oh my God, he's a killer. Yeah, I mean, well, I if he like come that. out and make a couple box real quick. I don't know. I don't like, what's, I don't what's like, you, no, what's I don't you want him to either. do? But I'm saying, like, like, he said a couple box. No. No, that's well, not, a, that's you not attractive though? either. Or then what you want the man to do? Just come out here and discreetly no, no. entertain him? That's like, what she wants. Like, no, hey, how you guys doing? Yeah, nice to meet you. How you doing? No, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I think that's my problem. I don't know what I like. Yeah. Well, I'm saying. I mean, I don't want no gangster showing up with a gun like bomb bomb. Don't shoot this shit up. <laughs> like I don't want that. Yeah. If anything, I feel like the confidence should be inspirational. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. Them guys was living their motherfucking best life. Hell they yeah. They was all smiles and giggles. I'm sure they got their own pain that they go through. Yeah. Even though they got a ton of bitches throwing at themselves at them, I'm sure right, they. But got, I'm sure they struggle with relationships. I'm sure the girl that they that want. Reason. I'm you sure really, the girl they want probably don't want that. Yeah, you can't probably. really be in a relationship being a stripper. You, I, can. I, you can't because the, I told you my cousin daddy one he he was miserable. Like I ain't never seen him like he was mad. So she said, I don't know. I listen, like, I used to mm. DJ at the strip club and I met some uh-huh. girls and 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 they do range. Like there's some girls that are just like normal chicks. They don't they're not whores. They literally just dance. You know what I'm saying? And then there's other girls that are just straight. But you don't know that for sure. Don't say whores. that. Because this is because they put on an act for you. Don't mean they. I was just a DJ. I wasn't trying yeah. to fuck nobody. You know what I yeah, mean? Them strippers is whoa. I don't know. The strippers look good. 
until they start dancing Someone. and all that weird look shit like Charlie I mean I had a stripper for my bachelor party and like right. she was so damn thick I was like damn she was like you wanna come I'm like no nah, I'm good she was like, you the first person that ever said that. I'm, I'm about like, to bust a nut just touching your ass. Yeah, I ain't got time. I mean, because, like, I don't get into Smack that big ass booty on me. We, it's over. <laughs> we went, we was in Miami at the KO, like, King of Diamonds, and I was like, nah. Like, it looked good. Atlanta, Atlanta was cool too, but it looked good, but you can just tell them, them chicks want money. They're not even thinking about you. They, man, they hold this is money. crazy, man. Yeah. yeah. I remember the one in Miami I went to, um, I forgot the name of it. Tra- oh, trap, trap something. I forgot what it's called. But um, uh, Jada Kiss and them was there that night, just mm-hmm. hanging out. But anyway, um, everything in there was expensive as fuck. Like just to get in, it was like I think it was like fifty bucks. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, and then to uh to go to the bar, it's a fifty dollar minimum. Yeah, to get drinks. Yeah. So it's like, bro. I was only paying for me and my girl. I'm going in that bitch. So it's like, dog, I gotta buy two, three drinks at piece. To when, you, when you go to strip clubs out of town, yeah. they're more expensive because the girls are getting paid in there. Especially when we was in Atlanta, yeah, I seen shit. a dude throw a hundred thousand. Yeah, that shit was ghetto as fuck. Like, I, I was in there in a suit for he real in Miami. 20s. He the dude was throwing twenties. I was like, damn. Like he just sitting there going like this. Yeah, fuck that. Like I'm sitting back like. With my homeboy, because I really well, ATM don't give you no money really, because I max that bitch no, out like just trying you, to get money to get in. No, when you, you know go in mean? there, you can get right. ones. They got ones for you. They got they got whatever you need and change. Really. Yo, did you know that if you get a hundred dollars in one, they only giving you eighty? Yeah. Fuck that. No, that's that's like a percent tax. Yeah, no, the fuck that. They gonna suck my dick. Hell yeah, no. That means your bitch is only getting a half a dollar. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm flicking quarters at these hoes. The, the one, to, the one <laughs> inflation, time, bitch. I forget who was in there. I think. Um, we was in Miami. I think uh, I don't know who the who the hell that dude was. He played for the Buccaneers, but dude was in there throwing crazy bread. My little mini. He just kept throwing. He just kept throwing money and kept throwing money. Then he busting the big bags open. He just kept throwing money. I'm like, Damn. man, what in the hell? So what's up? We going to Atlanta? Uh, when, when, yeah, I got a show on the 13th. Oh what? July? Yep. Wow, I do I'll got some vacation Florida. time. Yeah. Oh, you'll be in Florida. Well, I guess me and Mo gotta handle this mission on our own. No, I want to go. What the hell, Cook doing? We, man, because because if you if you really want to go, say drive. I'm, listen, I'll help I'm, you with gas. Yo, uh, I, I want to go. Thursday pod. I want to go. Yeah. Okay. Um, we'll get we'll get Cook or somebody else. Yeah. Uh, Tay want to come in. Okay. Who? Tay Seven Mile. Yeah. But like I um uh, like I've been telling you, you need to come start coming to the shows because it's but your just, shows? Yeah, it's just more we of a relaxed getaway. I want to. Be, because I got my first show is uh on the sixth, Myrtle Beach. I'll leave the house. Yeah, Myrtle. And my dad lives out there, I should go. Yeah, Myrtle Beach. I was actually talking to my girl about going out to the it's on the sixth, right? Yeah, because I was talking to her. I was like, yo, um, I got some vacation time. And I'm off like that whole week right there. So I was like, yo, I'll take like two days off and I'll have like two weeks off, damn near. Look. So we can go out to Myrtle Beach. And then after you will see a show, we'll do the 4th of July out there. Then I can go visit my dad, which is like an hour away. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because that, cause that right there, because I got to do the 6th, Myrtle Beach, and then 13th. Myrtle Beach about Atlanta. to turn up. Yeah, then I got Atlanta on the 13th. So Lamont, 330. So what are you doing? You're going to Myrtle Beach, coming home, and then going to Atlanta? Yeah. I want to go. Yeah. Can you do it? I can take, I can, yeah, I can take off whenever I want. Well, let's go right now. Cause you, cause you know what, you know what's so silly. Yo, let's go to the casino right now. I ain't got shit to do. Casino. Yo, can I borrow some money, Cole? No. <laughs> but it's like, it's like I got a lot of lot of shows coming up out of town, like Indianapolis, Chicago. Like I got a lot of shows coming oh, yeah. up. So shout out to Monk, y'all. Monk be out here grinding, bro. He did. While I be in the house playing Call of Duty on TikTok, now, this motherfucker be out there writing jokes and. And telling stories and shit. Yeah, Yo, you be telling stories on stage? Yeah. Okay, good, good. Yeah. Remember this one time? Because I, lo- I love the stories when people be telling, like, because, like, you want them to, like, feel the story. So then, like, when you build them up, they drop that motherfucking little kicker. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers. Story. Well, in the story, how many kickers should a, a story have? You feel me? You should have, like, at least two or three. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, as you're telling the story, you just spit, like, little little jokes throughout it. You know what I'm saying? So. Because, because, like, up there doing comedy. I just learned how to just master the craft and just do it instead of trying to yeah. write shit. Because if you if you come off the top of the head, it's more authentic than you writing something and then trying to remember what you wrote. And then you got to think about it. Sometimes when you write, no matter if you got a team of writers or not, like comedy, people really don't laugh unless you're funny. Yo, bro, I'm about to get you um, some, some gigs in uh, L.A. 
LA and Texas. Uh, yeah, that'd be dope. If I get you, we gonna go. Yeah. I'll go with you. I'll pull up. Just cause I'm gonna get you in some clubs that I want to go to anyway. So kill two birds with one stone, like that. Yeah, I always you know what pull mean? Up. So, Damn, but we're gonna go to, to, go to Joe no Rogan's comedy place he has in Texas yeah. where he lives. Yeah, you know what I'm saying we're gonna go to that. Hopefully, he's, his ass is in the building. That'd be dope. Probably yeah. not, but um, still, I just want to go go check it out. And then I want to go out to um, to L. A. They I forgot. I can't think of it. Brain fart, but um, yeah, there's a place out in LA. I want Laugh well, Factory is cool out in LA, yeah. yeah. I know it's easier to get in in uh, LA because they have so many up and comers that they have like a, a spot where anybody can damn near jump, not damn near anybody, but you gotta have some name. But when I was so, in, I figured we can get you in when I, when yeah, I was out there in LA to do that Omar Good and shit, it was so many people from out of town, yeah, like flooding there. Mm-hmm. It, it's flooded with people from Detroit. You know, yeah. Cleveland. I wonder if you can get. Is there some comedians that suck that are willing to pay? I mean, to me, I I don't know. I really don't pay attention to nobody but me. That's okay, real. That's okay. real facts. Because like, but are there some comedians you think that that are there shows that be like, yo, if you pay this much, you can come onto the show? Yeah, you can, but because like I know like um, rappers do that shit. Yeah, that's you you can asking. you can pay to get on those we shows. Can, we but, can put together some shows. I got some venues, bro. Yeah. I, got, I still got some. I got some plugs still. Yeah, from DJing. Yeah, we I'm, we most definitely can. But it's, DJing, man, you get in with the fucking okay, owners. You know what I'm saying? I got shit, but I'll come for the ride. Yeah. Oh, you better get some shit, Cole. You got the audience. You got eleven thousand people on your shit, Bala. Cole got the most followers out of anybody we know. Shut huh? up. <laughs> I'm not about to play with her. Wow. Cole Cole is a busy woman. Yeah. See, I'm the DJ. He's the comedian. She's the followed. Followed. <laughs> <laughs> Her talent is to be followed. <laughs> Sounds like a movie. So we followed. just gonna follow her. <laughs> nah, I'll fuck with you, Cole. All right, now I do got some topics for this episode. I got some shit to talk. We got some. No, nah, I ain't got no shit to talk because I love everybody, man. I've been, I be hating that I be hating. So I gotta, I gotta show more love because you you get more shit with I be hating with positive. That I be hating. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's just because we old and grouchy, man. No, nah, we ain't. I be no, hating. No. I hate young people shit. Like I don't. I listen. I be to on Facebook day. like, yo, that little young motherfucker follows there. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> you, know what I mean? like, you sound like an old motherfucker. You know what I'm talking. You ain't never watched a video and it's like, yo, like, like, um, did you see that video of them like running out of the store with all that shit? It's like normally I don't give a fuck about them videos because I don't care about the store. But it was just the little girl was like she was running from the dude and she goes, ah, hey, you mad? And it's like, oh, you little, that remind my kids. It remind me of my kids, dog. I was like, oh, that little bitch. Oh, that little bitch. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> or uh, the motorcycle ones. When motorcyclists pull up to a car because it honked at them and they kicked the car. Mm. Like, hey, what are you doing? It's like, oh, God, I swear to God, you kicked my car, dog. But a lot of this shit, a lot yeah. of this shit happening because of how everything going right now. Hey, does somebody want this shit? Everything's so Hell fucked yeah. up. Hell yeah. Everything's so nice fucked shit. up. They, they high price everything. Everything high price. Ain't nobody got no money. So they, they destroying everything right now. They, oh, shit. They, Speaking they, of money. They robbing shit. They, they breaking this shit. Everything is happening for a reason. Now. Oh, yeah. I'm going to tell you about this game I was playing today, man. Oh, this shit. new, cause, you know, I, I be gambling. Man, listen, I've been playing this new game in PA, dog. This shit is fucking dope. And today, it like, it was, I, I had some magic on that shit, though. What's going on? I don't know. She his keep wifey, looking. At... His wifey calling. Answer the phone for her. Oh shit! Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm sitting there like oh, looking at him, I'm... trying to give him the eye. He's like, oh, "What yeah. the fuck is you doing?" <laughs> you better answer that yeah, shit. Yeah, man. Morning, you talk. I'm on. A, I'm recording right now. You live, so don't. Please don't say nothing crazy. Hey, Kamenique, how you doing? Hi, Kamenique. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> now y'all made it famous. <laughs> now she famous. Hi, babe. <laughs> This is, this is what I'm doing right now. I'll be home shortly, okay? Yeah, we about to be done with him. <laughs> like, we done. We're tired of this guy. Babe, babe you laughed at that? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, no, actually, go ahead and keep his ass there for a little oh, bit. That's what you're doing. <laughs> you laughed at that? Oh, hell no. Oh, shit. <clears throat> and we live. Okay, this... bye. All right, babe, love you. Oh, that's too funny. You crazy. <laughs> she said. <laughs> Shoot, buddy. She just want to make sure you is where you supposed to be. Man, I'm everywhere I'm supposed to be. I don't go nowhere. Mm-hmm. I believe it. For real. You can't get, 
When you marry, you can't really do shit. Can't do a motherfucker. You like, you like. You're not supposed to. When you get married, that's no, your I'm commitment about, to you that know, person. Just, just yeah, like, like, like you just can't be out here just running around and just the can't do all that shit. That shit dead. Like, say if I go to the store, like if if I if I leave to go to the store, she gonna be in the passenger side. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So if I do leave, it's like when I left today. She like, where you going? But she already knew where I was going. She's Man, you going. should feel blessed though. Because if she didn't give a fuck about you, she wouldn't care. No, that's the... You know that's, you know she, would, she wouldn't ask you because that's the worst thing you want. Last thing you want is somebody not to ask what you do. See, doing. I think that's my problem because guys be like, you don't even seem like you care about me. I'm like, I do. But you just, see, you just don't, don't care. Like, no, I you don't like, then. I just don't be like... You don't. I bet you money. I bet you your problem with, when you're in a relationship <laughs> is you compare that guy to this other guy. Any other guy. No, because everyone's different. That's what I'm saying. But you look at... You probably just... You probably just, look at uh, something you like about a, a new guy. Say, just say somebody you saw on the internet, a post or something. you like... And you think something might be cute or attractive. Nah. And you're like, yo, why ain't the one I'm with doing it like that? See, when you have kids, this is like why I call Lee Carl. You don't do got, shit like that? This is why okay, I call Lee Carl ain't got good. nobody in her life. She got kids. And that's what her demographic is. Mm-hmm. Like, if she brings somebody into her life... If they're not compatible with their kids, she's not going. Half of the people that I start talking to don't even meet my yeah, kids. Yeah, and see, that's what it is. Like, they, at be, all. they be that's, sneaking in at night. Yeah, that, no. Oh, my God. He be, no. he, yeah, he be passed out. He said, Psst, it's 12 o'clock. You sleep. Hold on, watch this. It's 12 o'clock. I'm yo, sleeping. No, <laughs> the fuck? Yo, I go yo to Ma, sleep. this is why she puts her kid to bed at 7. <laughs> Nico, don't go to bed at seven. What time? Damn. You go to bed seven. at nine. Oh, nine. Oh, okay. And, hey. I, and I, so half the time, I'd be sleeping for him. <coughs> Damn. You were early bird. Fuck Man, yeah, I can't. I wake up at five o'clock every morning, though. Oh. Like. You wake, you got to work at five or you just get ready? Well, I get up at five because I got to get my, myself ready and then I got to get Nico ready. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, I ain't got to be to work until like eight, really, Damn. for real. And then a lot. Like, like so you got the same up. morning routine every morning. Every morning, even like. So what's what's your? I'm just curious what your routine is because I'd be curious okay. how this people's is, lives go. This is exactly my routine. My alarm goes off at actually it goes off at 5:04 a.m. because I don't like to get up at five o'clock or 5:15. I'm weird like that. that see, that's what hold you back from man too because you don't yeah, like okay. to be told what to do. No, I, oh, I listen. Oh, you wait. I, I ain't getting up at five, bitch. I'm getting up at five oh four because I can. <laughs> because I can. Ain't nobody gonna tell me five. <laughs> I mean, I would get. I mean, no, I, I listen and I'm not disrespectful and I don't run my mouth. Like I don't. I'm actually good in a relationship, but at the same time, I want to be able to just. Yeah, I feel. I feel. I'm fucking with you. Okay, so right, you wake up at five oh four. Okay, I wake up at five oh four. Smokes a blunt. I roll up my blunt. <laughs> I was, fucking, how the fuck did I know this? Fucking unbelievable. I do. Duh. This, this is before I even touch my phone or anything. So I wake up at 504, hit my alarm. I turn over. I sit there for like just a minute or two to gather myself. I roll gather up a blunt. <laughs> I roll up a blunt. And this is the funny part. I go and I sit in the bathroom on the toilet for like 45 minutes. And I sit there and I play my game and I smoke a blunt. I might <laughs> shit. I might not shit. Might shit. It just depends on what I ate maybe the Damn. night before. So that so by the time I actually get in the shower, it's like six a.m. because I already fucked around for an hour, mm-hmm. rolling and See, that's why I like to wake up blood. early and just chill. Yes, yeah. okay. I like to. That's you crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I already know, like, I love my job and I wouldn't trade it for the world. But I never know what's going to happen. Day to day, my job is so it's the same thing, but it's so different. I could not imagine smoking a blunt before work. Oh what? Yes. Well, by the time I get to work, I'm not high anymore because I wake that's up. That's when I'm high. tired. When See, I, I don't. Smoke, I don't. I smoke I'm sleepy then. I smoke different weeds though in the morning. When I when I like smoke, I smoke, a sativa. I, I smoke nothing but sativas, and I smoke a blunt. Oh, see, I don't get at tired. any time. I don't get tired. Like Towards that. the end of the blunt, I'm, Listen, I'm ready for a nap. When I would oh, get see, up in I'm the morning, like I get dressed, do everything, get in my car, smoke, and then go to work. Mm-hmm. But now it's just go to work. I don't, yeah. Only time I smoke is when I'm so here. Let me, I don't smoke let, let me home. finish with yeah. my morning routine. Oh, okay? oh my bad. Go ahead. 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 Ma, interrupting again. <laughs> no, no, stop. I'll, I'll fuck with you. Okay, but anyway, so it's like, you know, 545 ish. I get in the shower. You know? Bring around your ass from Wash the toilet. <laughs> yeah, yeah definitely. Sometimes she's singing. Look, look I, sometimes I stand up in the toilet, she stick to my butt. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> and I'm oh, like, wow. she's hurting. But I mean, okay, so then I get in the shower. Okay. After I get out the shower, like how that's just stuck. Like that. That's how much. But anyway, I get out the shower. I get dressed. I put my face on. It's about six thirty ish. Put your face about, on. About how long does your makeup take you? Just a couple minutes. I don't do shit. No. Okay. Okay. I don't put powder. And stuff I didn't on. think so. Like, That's why I was I curious. I just do like a little bit on my eyes, and I got a 
paint my eyebrows in a little bit on this side. Oh, oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> Gotta get the eyebrows. Go well, ahead. yeah, because a couple years ago, I wanted to get my eyebrows done, and she fucked my eyebrows up. So, like, a little part on this side right here, like, won't grow. Mm. Like, at all. Oh, so, okay. I got to, like, pencil on in, but then I got to pencil this one in to make it match. But anyway. Makeup don't take that <laughs> Yo, we, we get down to the nitty gritty. I'm telling you, like, yeah, I told you, this is the cold, boom, boom, the cold pa- uh, pod today. I like oh, this. Shit. Cold ahead, cast. Go ahead, finish. cold cast. But yeah. So after I do all that, brush my teeth, I'll go wake Nico up. So about this time, it's about seven o'clock. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I wake Nico up, and that boy's just like me. It takes him a half hour, forty five minutes to get motivated to get up to get dressed. Anything he's, wow. but he be sitting there on the phone though. But he be eating his breakfast and doing whatever he's doing. But, like, get him up. And we leave the house at, like, 7.50, drop him off at school. And then I go to work. Damn. And I do that every day. Even on, like, the days that I don't have to work. Hey. I try to sleep in. You turn that ass straight for me? Or unless you want it? Yeah. I try to sleep in. But, like, my body Mom just wakes that. up at 5 o'clock. I get up every morning at 5. I don't even need no alarm clock. I look, half the time I alarm clock. Damn, you don't either? No. I literally don't use an alarm clock uh, either. I just get up. My wife said all the time, you get up at the same time my every body, morning. Yeah, my body wakes up at Is like it a body five. thing? I literally mm-hmm. can't figure it out. It's I have either an alarm. Once you get on a routine, your body on that routine. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. On Fridays yeah. and Saturdays when I'm off, like I still wake up at 5 o'clock. Because I work midnight, so me still, I still get up right when I'm supposed to. When I work two jobs, I will work. I would work what nine to five at Steak and Shake, then go work at Walmart twelve to seven. Hey, why we gonna start talking about food? And then they they ain't gotta it? come back to Steak and Shake. What time is they close? Eleven ten. Uh, it's today like twelve. Oh, I'm going to Steak and Shake after this. Yeah, yo, you, you, have a you gonna fuck up the bag? Oh, we haven't talked about that yet, have we? What? what? About the the age thing? Oh yeah, we did with Tyler. Never mind. All right. No. Damn, we, didn't, we didn't get so detailed though. Yeah, we're recording for a minute. This is nice. It's a good, it's a good pod. It's yeah. a cold pod. I told you I want to get in depth on coal. Coal because if Mont if Mont would have not pulled up for some odd reason, um, I was gonna just talk to Cole and I was gonna get in depth. Of, you know what I mean? It's gonna be the Cole interview. I mean, Cole, but, Cole yeah. a cool person. Yeah. She's got to well, open up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like Cole, just she's interesting. She just doesn't talk, so we don't know nothing about her. So the, the world is gonna learn about Cole today. Today's a cold <laughs> cold cast. <laughs> so was I right on on those guy things? What I said, like the reason why you don't got a guy in your life? Did I was I right on that about the kids? And then it's about you. You done been through so much. So a man, if, like if he done, if he ain't talking about the right shit, you gonna play it along just to play it along. Yep, that's it, straight up. Because I I mean, before I found my wife, I was like that. I was like, yeah. motherfuckers would come in my life and swear to God, the first thing they they looking at me because of who I am. And that's what I was really finding in women. Like I was like, "What the fuck?" Damn. Yeah. Like you think you you think you doing something that ain't on your ass. Mm-hmm. I'm like, damn. Like I never thought this could happen to me. Shit. Hell yeah. And I think that's why I talk to thirty I, guys I, at the same time. No. <laughs> I've, I've, I've never that. been like that. Like, like the if fuck I'm you talking to said. somebody and I'm interested in that. So hold person, on, what's the roster looking like? You got a roster call? Damn. I got like one person I'm talking to. Okay, so you just be I got having another one. person that be messaging me that be trying, but like, only I one. Really... Only one. I love you, Pookie. Oh, oh, no, Pookie. I ain't Hawk Damn. I ain't in no stage with none of them like that yet. No, absolutely Dang. not. Is it no. little pistol starter? Yo, this shout out to the Hawk Two girl. The Hawk Two girl. <laughs> so wait a minute, Cole. The young, the youngest guy you dated was like 25. No, I want to say like twenty six or twenty seven. So, so what? What did you get out of that though? Absolutely nothing, some but some dick. Oh okay. Because like I I tried. To How like, what? No, hold on. No, I didn't mean to cut you off. How? A- answer this question. I'm gonna let you talk. Just uh, cause we gotta do it like that. Cause go ahead. Look, I t- I'm very open. So, I don't give a shit. So messing I with approve. messing with this twenty six year old, like, tell me the cons and the pros of messing with him. Like, it's just that age demographic. I just want to know the, the um, pros and the cons. The reason of why, with. like, okay, so basically the reason why it didn't work out uh-huh. is because he was on, like, bullshit. Like, as a 26 just, year old just, should be. Right, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> well, yeah, you know what I'm Well, no, because you know, because I've talked to, like, someone around that age, too, that I was like, wow, like, he's really mature and he got his shit together and, you know, he's doing what he needs to do and this, that, or whatever. But just me being me yeah. and me being set in my ways. Which I need to break, but like, it'll never break. If I, 
Probably not. If I no. see if I see a guy in a pattern doing something that I don't like, and I'll sit there and have a conversation with you, and I'll explain to you like, hey, you know, I really don't like this, or stay you know, a week with somebody. That's how you really talk, or do you be aggressive? Obviously, I'm aggressive. Yeah, because your <laughs> like, son straight said you was see, aggressive. One thing with me though is. <clears throat> I'm not gonna hold nothing back. Like what, yeah, I'm, what I'm thinking. You don't like something. You don't. You gonna say something? Yeah, and I expect the same thing. If yeah. I'm doing something, or if I talk a certain way, or whatever, I expect the guy to tell me like, "Hey, you know, this is what I feel. You need to change, or you need to do up." And most of the time, like I'll be like, "Okay, you know what I mean? I'll, yeah. I'll do it." It depends yeah. on how much I like that guy. If I don't really give a fuck about that guy, I'm like, I ain't fucking changing shit. You can buy. Yeah. And I stop talking to him. She but said, if I find a guy shit. that I'm interested in that can like have a conversation mm-hmm. and is trying to do something with his life or whatever and just don't want to sit home and sell drugs and play video games. So do you ever you see know? yourself dealing with a a man that's different from what you used to? Like instead of finding the guys that's in the streets or or them type of guys coming to you. Let me correct that. Like the type of guys that come to you is more like street dudes instead of being like a business guy. What is what is like if he see you and like you, he gonna approach you. You know what I'm right. saying? So that's what I'm saying. Like, do you ever try to switch it up or do you just see what you my used thing to? is is like I usually don't I'm not the one to be jumping in someone's inbox. Okay. Like if I see a guy oh, that I'm like, okay. Oh my god, like he's really cute and he's got his shit together, I you feel like You won't do it though? No, I'm not going to. I feel like I'm like probably not good enough or something, so why waste my time trying to talk really? to him? Really, I literally would assume the opposite. You would say, "No, I don't." I assume like, you'd be like, "I'm too good for this fool to be no, jumping in anybody's inbox." I don't feel like box. I'm like I'm really I got really low self esteem. Like you guys know that I was no, talking. You shit hold on, about. wait, we don't know no, this I shit. I don't know. That's that. why we talking I to you. Sit here and talk I assume about, you have the highest. About, no, I was just sitting here talking about how fucked up my you knees looked cocky. when I was standing. Who does? You do. Right. No, I do not. Don't you think so, Mom? So we gave you... Very. Don't she very. act like her shit don't stink? Th- no, no, I, I ain't gonna say that. talking about my cool. arms she bad been, and my fucking rolls Listen, when shit, I first like, met Coley Cole, she been cool. I thought that was just because what nah, you saw on the camera. Shit. No, no that's cool. how I really feel about myself. Like, no. She really she really cool to the core where you wouldn't even think. By looking at her, you would judge her. But when you get close to her, she different. Like, real shit. The first I'm time totally I met her, different. she different. And that's why I keep telling guys, like, I'm so different from yeah. any of these females. I'm she like, different. well, I heard that before. But, okay, I yeah. know you heard that before, but I 100% promise you, I am different. And it really, it really, like, <laughs> sorry to cut you off, but really, it come from the type of people you was dealing with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they they teach you stuff. <laughs> people take my fly. <laughs> people, people teach you stuff, but if, if you don't listen, you know what I'm saying? No matter if you love them or not, you still got to soak some game up from them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and you've been around some, you've been around some, some real ones. Mm-hmm. I know that for sure, and I know you ain't gonna settle just for anything. Definitely not. Now you'll play along, but just settling, I don't I mean, think that's gonna happen. It's always fun to play along, but I mean, how long are you gonna play along? <laughs> yeah, you know true I mean? that. True that. Yo, just realize we just did a whole podcast with a nugget sitting right on the table. <laughs> like a yeah. whole nugget. Oh, we go. Yeah. No, we can't. We can't show that shit on the you camera. You can't really see it, though. I got to blur that shit out, though. Look at, look, at, look at it, though. You can't really see it. Yeah, well, from that angle, though. Yeah, you can. The hook. Here, put it in your pocket, man. Put it in, oh, put it in good, your pocket. Man. Just put it in your pocket, no, Cole. Good, Throw it in, in the candle pocket. or something. You can't even see it, bro. From that angle, my you can't. My rolls is hovering over my pocket. I can't get into my pocket. I got to edit that out somehow, you feel me? I got to hide Well, I'm talking about AI, a cup there. <laughs> <laughs> this dude crazy. Yeah, that'd be dope. Yo, if I do that, I'm putting a dunce cap on Mom for half the episode. Oh, yeah. I'm Yo, I wonder if I could get AI to do that. I'm I don't know how to use AI like that, but if I, I can start doing shit like that, bro, we'd be millionaires. Yeah. I'd be like, yo, put Joe Rogan in this video with us. Just, just, all you, you gotta do, do is just do what shit? you do. Yeah. Whatever you can do. Well, I don't want to fake it. I think it's just gay. And feel like, Did yeah. you know that when I upload these videos now that it asked me? Is AI? Did AI make this video? No, that's it wants, horrible. It wants that's to how, know that now. That's how horrible the world is coming. Yeah, in. well, because you don't know what's real anymore. Right. Man, because everybody lazy. I'm not that's lazy. Why, I like to not, make not saying content. you, but no, I don't know people you lazy, man. People be just want shit to happen oh, just because they. Yeah. Ten o'clock, gonna die. Man, mom. So I was telling Cole earlier, man. Um, oh yeah, like I was saying, I was, I was, I'm a gambler, and I was playing this game earlier. And I won um, this game. It's like a roulette game. And I got, I had like $4 on this one spot and I got it, right? 
and it, it takes you to like this uh, little mini game type deal. Uh-huh. So I go to this mini game and I win three hundred times my four dollar bet. Right. You know what I mean, so it came out to like uh, twelve hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? But um, wow. anyway, yeah. So like, I, so I'm like, oh hype. You know what I mean? So like, I have like I had like seventeen hundred or whatever. So I withdrew everything at the end of my session, uh-huh. and my dumbass withdrew it out into a closed account I had still saved. Dog, I was so sick. I like hurry up and I'll send a and I, I they have this this um I know you was mad. Oh man, they have this rapid um uh withdraw thing yeah. that they they'll send it instantly for you. You know what I mean? And it's like I use that and it's like fuck. I can't even hit them up now to be like, yo, stop it, because they literally send it through instantly. Right. You know so, what I mean? So once you still got that account information? No, the account's been closed for years. You don't think it would bounce back and tell them the account wasn't valid? Well, it's or going to. But it's just now I gotta because wait. I gotta wait five to ten to weeks now. I Who knows? Give a fuck. That, that money coming. Days. Oh, it's coming. Yeah, I yeah. mean, but still, hey, I only put a hundred dollars in, so really it's a six hundred dollars profit. Hey, sixteen hundred dollars profit. Yeah, right. hey. Shit, that's some money. I don't give yeah. a fuck. I, I just like, don't I'm gamble. I'm about to give old boy some money, but here, bet it for man, me. I don't oh, hell gamble. Nah, man. Like, I, no. I lose a lot more than I, I get. I think I won in Memphis one time. I won five thousand on the th- um on the blackjack table. You know, I never won five bands on one spot. I did in Memphis. How much did you spend on that bet? I was just so curious. I, I had a hundred dollars. It's a hundred dollar bet. Yeah, I was at the five dollar. Oh table. damn! I was at the five dollar table. A yeah, hundred dollar bet is crazy. Because I mean, you, I've done hundred dollar bets, but when you play blackjack, my uncle win. taught me this. Yeah. He said it's it's two cards oh, that can change everything. Yeah, the six and the five. It changes everything. Yeah, for blackjack. Yeah. I'm not good with blackjack because listen. Yo, yeah. let's go to Rivers. We can I if you if you if you it's not. Oh, when we go to because the, the, the you king, guys going to the OT concert? The king and the ace, no. the, the king and the ace, the jack and the ace, huh? all that shit I is a blackjack. So if you get an ace, if you get a, uh, say if you get five and six and you got an ace, that's 21. You know what I'm saying? So Interesting. You, yeah. I'll play like gin and poker. That's 21. I'm a slot guy. I, I ain't playing. I, I just, I like blackjack because it's a counting game and a lot of people can't count. Nah, but listen, if you guys want to try this... Count to 21. Listen, 21. There's a lot of people. I say, listen, they There's have this this uh, thing on this website. I'm going to send you a link. Just take 50 bucks. That's it. Just take 50 bucks, and you put it in there, and it'll double it for you. It'll give you $100, and you can play that in. Uh, okay, and you only got to play it in one time before you can cash it out. You know what I'm saying? So you just have to play $100, you know what I'm saying? But you get to go play all these games, and... Um, I'll give you my referral code so hook me up with some money too. You Look feel me? You. That's all you really giving it to me for my referral. Well, time I mean, well, you get a hundred dollars or a hundred percent of whatever you put in. Like if you put a hundred in, it'll give you two hundred. Oh, okay. Well, it won't give you two hundred. You'll no, get I see what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I see what you're doing. And, and I'll get. I think I'll, I'll still. I think I get like fifty bucks or something. No matter what you get put in, you know what I mean. But, but I'm you, saying whatever you win after that, that is yours. But it's it's a full casino. Yeah, once you whatever like the initial is like if you put two hundred dollars in, you have to play two hundred dollars one time. You know what I'm saying? It's one time play, and they call it. You know what I'm saying? But once once you once you've played two hundred bucks worth, like whether you win and lose it, you know what I'm saying? Um, you get to keep whatever after that, and they have instant withdrawals. Just don't withdraw it into the wrong account like I did. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, it's right here, Rivers. <laughs> We should go. We should we should take a family trip, guys. Let's do this. A pod so, fam hey, trip. You whatever you ready. You, you you gamble? We need some money, huh? I mean, I really don't gamble. I'm gonna sit there. So you gonna get that? You gonna you just gonna hold the camera for me though? Yeah, I hold the camera because right. I already know me. When I lost Dog, in Vegas, beast. I went downstairs in Vegas. I wasn't even downstairs. Twenty minutes of my money was anything, gone. So. Dog, watch. You gonna be sitting there like, damn, bro. You going through another hundred? Damn, you going back to the ATM, bro? Oh, hell no. Bro, listen. <laughs> They killed oh, my me. night turned back to the ATM like, yeah, hold on. What's my pin? Nah, hold hey, on. I went downstairs happy as shit. By the time the elevator opened and I seen the table I wanted to go sit at, no. I sit down, shit, four rows. I was, I was out of there. Took my money quick. Oh, yeah. And then I went back down there the next day and lost 200. I said, oh, no. Nah, that's all I need to lose. I ain't, I ain't the Yo, type. Yo, some bullshit, ain't it, Cole? No, I ain't the type that's going to lose okay, money okay. like that. Okay. Fuck okay. that. I would have passed it. I know we ain't supposed to talk. We ain't supposed to talk about it. I don't know. I would have okay. passed it at the <laughs> What the fuck y'all whispering about? Nothing. Yeah, uh, 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 you fucked uh, up for that one. He said, oh, yeah, okay. Nah. nah. Yeah, you fucked up, dude. All right, what's on my list? I did have some questions, but we had right. a smaller thing. Um, let's see. Okay, I guess this one's just for Mont because Cole doesn't have a boyfriend or girlfriend. Um, does... Ma, does your girl ever tell you? Hold on, say my wife. Your wife. Oh yeah, my yeah. bad. You're, you're right. 
Well, that's just how I wrote it down, actually. Uh, yeah. That's why I said it like that. Okay. okay, does your wife ever tell you who she thinks is cute? Like, she sees somebody on TV or, like, say, Chris Brown is on a music okay, video. You can't stop and she'd be like, yo, he's, okay, oh, my God, yeah. he's so fine. All right, so listen, shit. you can't, you can't really. It. I know. Yeah, you can't really. They're just celebrities, though. Yeah, yeah, like, if you get mad over that. Does she have, like, a celebrity crush? I mean, shit, I don't know. He look opposite of you? I don't know. <laughs> hey, listen, I don't. Some white guy yo, when my, girl, when my girl was like, hey, hey. We're at J- <laughs> me and my girl were at a J. Cole concert. Hey, and she was like, he is so sexy. And I'm like, yo, he's, like, totally the opposite of me. Nah, but you He's tall. But you got you, braids. Like you don't even look like me. Skinny as hell. Here I am, a little oompa you loompa. You probably think some females are attractive that don't look nothing like Kida. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, guess. So, I, mean, so, so, I think I think everybody's beautiful. Female. I find beauty in everything. You know I know. Saying? Like I can't be I'm mad because she thinks something is sexier. Like you gotta be like I don't give a fuck. I just be like, I love you. Yeah, see, that's how I am. I don't care. Like, a girl it. could walk right past me. Yeah. Like, I could be like, oh, Because when I was in Miami, it was so much yeah. ass in front of me. I'd probably be like, like yeah, she is, isn't she? And, and she well, was, I assume all bitches is bitches. Like, I don't nah, like girls. Nah, that's the difference between bitches and women. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, I like a nice, a bitch do anything. humble, beautiful yeah. soul. See, that's you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, them, them ratchet ass, ignorant ass, no well, respect. Fuck, hell, fuck man, everybody, entitled ass attitude. But you know where that come from? That come from... Just where the environment at. That's why. Like a single, like that. single mom home type deal. Shit, but I ain't like that. Shit, it ain't even the single moms. It's all moms. All moms got ratchetness in them. Believe <coughs> that. You yeah, can't. I ain't gonna lie. I can't For real, like all moms got ratchetness in them. So. Okay, so, so, so your girl does tell you who she thinks is cute. So yeah, it's a yeah. Why you keep saying my girl? I mean your wife. My bad. My bad. I gotta look at my notes again. You better quit looking at your notes. <laughs> Talk to me, you fucker. Who knows I ain't getting you. Well, where know. your ring at? Okay. God damn, Mighty Morph from Power Rangers. <laughs> that <laughs> Captain <laughs> Planet ass. <laughs> Back there, dude. What are you? It's Earth. <laughs> yeah. I just, I mean, because I told her, like, I got my own ring. God cause damn, that's like. It, it was more. It was more on me to like get my own ring because that's like a mafia. That's a super no, it's just, ring. It's just <laughs> to me. If I want to represent a married, I'm gonna show my ring. God. You know Dang. what I'm saying? I don't know. Damn. I ain't trying to do this with time. I wonder why you rock the pistol. They not think that that's a wedding ring, though. I see why you hold I, a gun. I wouldn't, I wouldn't care if nobody... Because <laughs> I tell... Cause that, like, everybody, like, when I go around my uncles, they're like... Everyone knows you're around your, here. They know you're married. Where your ring? And then I just show my ring. They be like, well, goddamn, did you... Yeah. I said, shit, this is this hey, type cool, of... bring that mic in a little bit. It's just the type of ring I, I wanted. Know. You know? When my wife says she wanted a ring... I wouldn't got that ring. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. I wouldn't got that ring because when she said, "This is what I want," she showed me, and I'm like, "Damn!" Cool. You see head. how Mont's talking into his? That's how you got to talk yeah, to him. Anyway. Well, mine's like down. I need to lift it up. There you well, go. That's your well. fault. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> there you Look, go. you can't even see no, my wait, face. Hold on. But you can't adjust it. Quit acting like that, right there. Yeah. I just talked right there. Okay. There yeah. you go. All right. Cool. Cool. Yeah. yeah like but it's down too far. but when oh, she when she said she wanted a ring, I'm like, "Fuck." Like in my head because I'm like, damn, I gotta grind now. Yeah, I gotta turn up. And then when we we put these rings on our, I said, okay, shit, right. fuck it. You know, I, <laughs> I just didn't want to wear no band because I think that's corny as yeah. fuck. Like you married, nigga, mm-hmm. what you wearing a band for? What's that? Damn. Like who the fuck do that? <laughs> like nigga, what's a band on your finger for? Like what's, so, what? so at the wedding, most, did, most guys do just have a regular yeah, band. Yeah, that's corny. Yeah. So at the wedding, did um. The preacher put his on too, and you guys all put it hands together. And said, <laughs> <laughs> say you gonna save the planet? Hey, nah, he was like, he was like, hey, nah, together you are because this ain't this ain't really my wedding Captain ring. Planet. This, this is the ring okay. I got. I got hey. made for for real. Yeah, my other I'll ring, a carry. That shit is fire. It's an eight yeah, carry circle. Nice. That shit is, yeah. It's an eight carry circle diamond ring, and I just don't wear it because it, it draw attention. Yeah, I'm gonna say yeah. That, that, that don't draw attention. I really this. It's, it's oh, like damn. It's <laughs> like. My other ring was go. just too much, like for real. Yeah, watch. Next time we see him, he's gonna have a regular band on because she ain't gonna nah, be having it. Nah. After this episode, she'll be like, hell Hey, nah. Captain Planet, come here. Guys. Hey, because <laughs> hey, 'cause I'll be everywhere wearing my ring. They were like, <laughs> Yo, why like, you got this big bullshit ass shit on, bro? Nah, like, that ain't head. representing hey. me. That's representing you. <laughs> hey, nah, because I'll tell you like this, man, when you when you put like when you when I ain't gonna you, lie, you if I thought I had a taste. woman, I wouldn't think he was married. I yeah, I didn't think. I'm like, okay, baller, come here. No. Yeah, I wouldn't think that he was married. I think he got some money. Nah, it's just, it's just, bro. I told her I want to represent different. That bad shit ain't me, bro. I wear jewelry. Yeah. I, don't, I want that shit. There ain't nothing me. wrong with it. Yeah, I just did something different because I, you know, I can do it. 
I just said, let me let me try something. So that's different. not your wedding band? No, my wedding my, my wedding band is crazy. I just don't wear it because it draws too much. You got attention. it on you? No. I don't want to see no picture. No, I'll show you the picture. <laughs> no, nah, I'm good. I believe you. No. I got you. Because I got to show you the picture. Because then we have to show the whole whole world, too. I mean, so. you can show the whole world, but. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. Moment for months. <laughs> Cole, see, this is why you don't want to get married. No, well, see. because of stuff like this. Yeah, because your man ain't going to want to hold your ring down. You want to just live your life freely. Uh, Look, if you ain't wearing your ring, I ain't, I ain't wearing my me? ring. And so I why y'all even got married? Listen, <laughs> listen, I wear my ring everywhere. Why do you, I mean. Huh? Why Why you get like, married then if you ain't going to rock the ring? Well, you said why does it matter if you have, because some people can't afford a ring, but I mean, you're married. Okay, well, that's you know not different. true, Cole, like, girl. Because I ain't. But no. I don't think you have to. I mean, I would wear a ring if I got married. That's just me. But I don't think you should have to wear a ring. Like, if you know that you're with that person and that person is very open and be like, no, nah, I'm married. Okay, well, what if. That, I mean, oh, so if your man was going out with his fellas to, say, even a bachelor night and he was like, you just saw his wedding band sitting on the dresser like he wasn't going to wear it that night. Now, if he. How would it, you feel about that? Well, okay, though, that's, there's. That's crazy. Okay, well, you feel me? Two different he options, tripping. though. Does he always leave it home, or is he only leaving it home for this night? Like, does he always not? What if you never ring? noticed it until tonight? Oh, I wouldn't notice if my dude wasn't wearing his. But well, what ring. if he was I don't know? Be yeah, exactly. What, okay. That's what I'm saying. So, what's so the to you, was it? so to to you, it's the first time he didn't wear it. Oh, I'd probably say something like, "Why, well, son, you ain't wearing your ring." But I mean, I wouldn't be like, "Oh, motherfucker, you're blah blah blah." blah. I'm about so, to divorce. Okay, like, so I so you ask him this, and he he kind of gets snippy. Like, well, why are you asking me? You always, always in my my. Because I would just be like, well, you always yeah, have. Me? I'd be calm about it. I'd just be like, well, you always wear your ring, like no matter where you go. But Everywhere. tonight you go into a party. Everywhere. With he would be in the wrong though, so but, I, I'm not. And I would up. say just we like go here role play to a whole argument. No, no that's real shit though. I like that's how it would go though, wouldn't it? Yeah, I like her from answer. a narcissistic go ahead, Cole, person. Keep going. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm going, say, I would probably say it like this, like okay, like you normally always have your ring on, but tonight you about to go out to a party and you left your ring at home. Mm-hmm. No, you tell me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, he found a picture of the ring band. Oh, yeah, that's nice, but yeah. That one, yeah. Yeah, did they pull up an Instagram photo of it? <laughs> yeah, my dog. Yeah, because I don't, I don't, yeah. keep it my I don't like the way. It's too I shiny. Mean, yeah, I would definitely question why he ain't got his ring on, but. <laughs> that reminded me of the homie. He uh, never posted his girl on his Facebook because she was white. And, like, and she was, he was like, nah, uh, the black girl. If my wife home, pick up my phone right now. Wouldn't be cool with that, so I don't want to post my girl. But, you ever heard of that? But, but you got I don't know. Hell no. If I post something, I'm going to post us. I ain't going to post no. Just, oh, no. I'm saying like, yeah. um, well, because he he's from like a predominantly black neighborhood. That so so if he dates a white girl, they they be like, yo, bro, what are you doing? You What's tripping? the difference? A black, white girl, it don't matter. It ain't no difference but in that matters. shit. Well, the Some girls in his though. neighborhood, like the people he cares about, they're like, yo, bro, you tripping. What are you doing right now? Man, Why are you talking to this snow bunny or whatever they Man, call listen, it? You know what I mean? People ain't going to like who you fuck with. And that's uh, just real shit. Yeah, I mean, I feel it. I that's feel real it. as fuck. You can't get no realer than that because people ain't going to like who you so fuck you, with. So you would represent, huh? Yeah, you got to no represent, man, because yeah. that's your, man. If that's who you fucking with. That's yeah, who that's, you fucking that, with. That's like if, if you going out somewhere and you got a female with you yeah. and somebody disrespect her and you sit back. Just like um, recently. That's fucked up, right, Cully Yeah. You know what I'm well, saying? Well, I just saw recently. Uh-huh. Do you guys know who Lefty Gunplay is? He's a rapper from L.A., Mexican, yeah, Mexican. dude. Yeah, okay. Well, he just made a statement on this yeah. podcast about he if his daughter came home with a black, with a black dude, he would be like, yo, be like, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? Yeah, but listen yeah, to maybe this. Because he doesn't want to mix his bloodline. Man, what? He black. How the fuck you well, using your blood? He act black. No, he black. Mexicans is black. Puerto Ricans is black. <laughs> no. That, nah. Man, you can nah. say what you want to. Everybody black in this bitch. That'd be like saying I'm black. Nah. That's a big I'm difference, Kathy. No, it's a difference. Because he said he he fucks with black dudes. Man, he listen, just he doesn't, doesn't want, want, want them to be kids. mixed up. Yeah. I mean, that's like and I mean, black people like that. Technically, he's not wrong, but technically, like everybody yeah. like that, bro. Everybody wants to be. No, they pick and choose what they want to say. I mean, I guess. I mean, it's it's his own opinion. Yeah, you know what I'm but, saying because I know a lot of white people that be like that, and then that's yeah, you know. Shit. I also as yeah. being, uh, I got, um, I have white baby moms. You know what I'm saying? I got one too. So, but yeah. I guess if I would, you got to respect them all. How I would love fair, um, how it would be like. How would you feel if one of your kids came home with like a black girl or a black boy? Like, well, I mean, my son. No. Well, no, he, he didn't. Uh, never mind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 like, how yeah. would you feel? <laughs> no, my son only has. He fucked up. My son only had like two girlfriends. 
Well, I was gonna say, well, I thought you got younger yeah. kids that are about to be having boyfriends and girlfriends. So how would you feel yeah, if one of them came yeah. home? Well, I mean, how, honestly, how would you feel if Rude would... came home and was like, Dad, this is my boyfriend, and he was a black guy? Well, honestly, like, I, would it matter? I, I, nah, I probably I wouldn't give a fuck. Yeah, no. so because I, I grew up in an area that is a mixture. Yeah, I, yeah, all my life has yeah. been a mixture for me. You can't so to like me, that. I see everybody is the same. You know what I'm saying? So I really wouldn't have an issue with myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Nico's and then I'm, my kids are mixed. You know what I'm saying? They're white yeah. and Mexican. Right. So, like, honestly, I can't say shit about mixing anything, bro. I already done stirred the pot. You know what <laughs> I mean? Said, whip it. You know what I mean? We already yeah, dropped bro. the Kool-Aid and the fucking sugar in. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh, okay. I'm good. And Nico got a little girlfriend. He was like, Mom, I got a girlfriend. Oh, dang. You got a white, white girl or... No, what she's, he got? A, she's a cute, she's a cute little black girl. Oh, she's pretty. She's hell pretty. yeah, hell yeah. yeah. I'm telling you, the yeah. race, they can't be racist I don't no care. more. Yeah, you know what even, I mean? Even. Like, mm-hmm. can't be racist. Mm-hmm. Nah, just, just not a Chinese person. This ain't the time. Yeah. It's, well, yeah, it's, yeah. It's so much mixture <laughs> going on, bro. You yeah. can't even be racist no more. Yo, so I remember living in areas and being. Um, I remember being in Colorado when I was young. I remember feeling like I was one of the only Mexican kids in my, you my probably school. Was. But I was. In, it was in Colorado because when I <laughs> when I got to middle school, there was like we were predominantly everything. Yeah, yeah. I mean it was every. Yeah. So yeah, I don't man. know if it was another school or if it was just my area I was personally living in where my elementary school only had a few Mexicans. Yeah. But then when I moved to the bigger school, I must have hit the Mexican hood because it was like, like it, it, it was the body. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it, like my middle school I went in Colorado was, was wild, bro. Motherfuckers was wild. <laughs> like it was like a Cali school for real. It was pretty wild. Do you really pay attention though when you're like that young in like elementary school? No, oh, I'm the only Mexican. No, no, I'm the only I didn't pay attention. No, no, no. You know what I'm saying? I you just don't think I, about that. Well, that I look at the pictures. I had pictures of elementary school, and I remember all my friends. You That's know what I'm saying? saying back yeah, then, yeah. was you even thinking mm-hmm. about no, that? No, no. Like, That's no, what I'm saying. My whole life, I, I, it was always, right. it always diversified with everywhere because I always grew up in like the hood type shit. Yeah. So it was like it was every every white dudes. Actually, there wasn't a lot of white kids when I was growing up. It wasn't until I moved here that I started hanging out with white people. Actually, no, I'm I'm lying. One of my best friends was white. Yeah. He was the little stoner kid. That's when I started smoking weed. You fucking bastard. I think I only had like he got me. <laughs> <laughs> he got me high for the he first said, time. Here, SA. <laughs> well, I, listen, my whole life I went smoking, thinking that I knew how to get high. When I, the whole time I was just blowing it out instantly, like, <sighs> so you yeah. Right and so I'm sitting there smoking like my whole like all the way up until like high school, and uh, I got with uh, I went, got with homeboy at ninth grade. And he show, he was like, yo, hold that shit in, fucker. You know what I mean? So I, I, in, I, I held it in, and I was high as a motherfucker. You know what I'm like, saying? Yeah, I'm like, holy like shit, time. bro. This is what being high is? Dog. I, you know what I mean? My first so. time smoking some weed, I smoked it with my uh, big bro, Dreads, and like my brother Damn. Jinx. We smoked the joint, and my mom used to always tell me, don't come home high. I smoked that goddamn joint and had to walk home. Damn. It looked like I was moving so slow. Like a car was coming across the street. I just fell on the ground. Damn. (laughs) I went home and started crying. My mom was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? (laughs) Like, I can feel my heart. (laughs) She like, get your dumb ass in. Fucking out there high as hell. Was it like at the beginning of of Half-Baked? Remember when they went into the store and it was just like (laughs) kind of choppy and shit? (laughs) That's what it felt like when I was young. Yeah. I remember walking around the streets, like in the like nicer neighborhoods. We would just like walk around, getting high early in the morning. You morning's. can't do that. Yeah. You, so, you, so, you step on the street, they got the whole police yeah. station. Oh damn! Yeah, yeah, no, this is this is out there. It's a little different out there. Bigger cities, the police don't really fuck with small. Nah. People like they deal with only bullshit. Just bullshit. That bullshit. They deal with the hard shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They don't deal with the. I mean, I mean they might, but mm-hmm. it's not likely. Mm-hmm. A uh, couple times, you gotta go get to your 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 mm. dingling. Okay. Oh shit. Cause, Cole gotta cause I got I got more get, topics. I got more topics. Cole gotta get okay. It, um. Cole gotta get all it. right. Now here, I got a question for you, Ma. What? Okay. Uh, this is again for you because Cole obviously doesn't have a significant other. Um, Dang. <clears throat> okay. If you had a significant other, this is okay. This is for both of y'all. Okay. Okay. So if you guys are driving in a car, who's sitting in the front? Your mom or your girlfriend? Your wife? Your wife? I mean, it's more respectable if your mom sit in the front because that's that's the that's the head of the throne. What if your your wife has a no, problem with it? No, my wife ain't got no problem. Okay, with it. okay. Well, I know your wife; she's awesome. Yeah, yeah. But the average, if a Cole, Cole that start a Cole fight. would let her. That no, that yeah. start a fight. I your I, mom, your mom wouldn't have it, would she? My mom, 
No, his mom. No. Oh, you know my mom. She's straight fighting. Shit, like I'm getting the front seat. No, nah, but my mom. I don't she, know what you talking about. No, nah, my mom's so cool. She get in the back. She don't care. Yeah. My mom is just get in however it mm-hmm. is. That, yeah, that's you know, how my she mom she really be don't that. be tripping. I don't even be tripping. Yeah. It's, it's whatever they gonna do because I don't want to be in between that. Mm-hmm. I would like, like me. I would like offer her the front seat. Like, hey, you want to sit in the front? Yeah. You know what I mean? I wouldn't just automatically assume like, oh no, I'm in the front and you're in the back. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? But mm-hmm. out of respect and everything, I would definitely offer the front seat. Yeah, because yeah. you got to. That that would yeah, be that's wrong. Yeah, disrespectful. I'm making both sit in the back. Yeah, no, that's who. That's who. Now, nah, if I got the kids, put my hat right there. No, nah, if, if I got the <laughs> kids in the car, yeah, scratch my head the whole ride. You put the kids in the car. Following them nice fresh calves on my head, boy. Pick that shit all evening. <laughs> For like Kevin now scratching. Nah, crazy. <laughs> Fuck that. Shout out to Kev. Kev, what up? I like? can't believe you said that shit that one episode. Remember? He goes, let's get the geek of this shit. Oh, yeah, get that scratch. I'm like, what the? <laughs> we were like, what the fuck? Like, what's going on with you, Remember, bro? Cole, we looked at each other and we're like, yeah, we're nah, like, nah, nah, we don't know what you're talking about, bro. Like, I literally like, have I've never felt before. that. <laughs> <laughs> that scratch. I've never felt the, the, the itch. Yeah, I've never got high said, like ah, that. No, I've never. Nah, I've never. Hell, yeah. never. No, nah, I never took anything like that. You can't smoke or not. Like, bro, I used to see people like snort. Cocaine and shit like that. Like they, they'd be in front of you with the dollar. Like, oh, he was talking about pills. No, opiates. but I mean, shit. Yeah. Back Fuck then, that. back then it was on. There was some volumes walking around with a forty ounce with, with twenty volumes in the bitch. Oh damn, oh, you yeah, old school wow. volumes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> he's can't talk in volumes. No, I'm volumes. saying that's how people used to walk around. Volumes is muscle relaxer, ain't they? Yeah, they used to trip. Damn, like you had to be careful. Fresh I can't really the, swallow pills. Fresh off the like, boat. Like like you trying to swallow a towel? No, I gotta be like. No, nah, they would put them in the throat. like say they drinking forty okay. ounces. They will drop them in the mm-hmm. forty ounces. So All they right. they already in there, and they will pass you the forty. Like say you want this, everybody tweet. Hell no, no hell everybody. No. I ain't tweeting. drinking nothing inside yeah, nobody. That's what I'm saying. Mm-mm. But uh, here's an, all right. Got another one. Um, did you guys see the real or the short video of the the birthday at a restaurant where the girls? were upset that the guy asked that they they separate the check. Yeah. He uh, he was like, yeah, I got the birthday girl and my wife. Yeah. Said the rest, you know what I mean? I need to... Sp-. And then the check goes, what you mean? You're the only man at the table. What you mean you're not going to pay the bill? Man. How you feel? I would never do that. I wanted to smack that bitch. No, I'm joking. <laughs> that shit seriously did piss me off, though. I'm not going to lie. Did like, hold see, up. Hold see, up. Did you see the one where the guy and the girl went out to dinner... And the my girl was making him pay for her kids' meals. Like, my kids is at home, so I need two of this to go. Oh, yeah, that bitch is trifling as fuck. Hell yeah, no. you seen that one? So, bitch, so, I'm not even going to pay for yours, matter of fact, right. now. You guys yeah. have a great evening. No, nah, even when we out with me and I my wife. I assume she paying for the meal then. We would go out with a whole crowd of people. We need a separate check. Yeah. Because I don't yeah. want to be in that when that jump off and somebody say, y'all ain't nobody pay. Yeah, I was just. Let me get ours right here. Yeah, I was just in that same predicament yeah, not too I long ago. To do that. I went to Florida with with my boys on a spur of the moment trip, okay? So I only had <laughs> literally, I only took one paycheck with me. Oh, and that was to buy the plane ticket and, and to keep myself some money for the trip, right? So this is like the last day we're out here. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm running low on funds. So we're like, uh, we meet up with a homie out there. You know I mean, we all go out, we go to a restaurant right there on the beach and shit. You know, that shit ain't cheap. Yeah. So we go there and I'm like, you know, I'm watching how much I'm paying. You know what I mean? Because I ain't trying to blow all my money on this fucking mill. Right. So I'm, you know what I mean? I'm over here. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? This cat's over here fucking, you know, getting a couple milkshakes. And like, he was what? serious. He was going in. Yeah, two milkshakes. <laughs> right. Like $13 each. Right. He going, he going in. in. You feel me? <laughs> oh. So, I mean, you know, oh, I'm like, yo, whatever. I'm going to fuck. So then they bring the check out. It's all one check. And they're like, yeah, we all going to split it. I'm like, hold up. Like, why am I splitting Hold something up. that you just said? Hold oh, up. Yeah, no, 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 no. I ain't have two milkshakes. This motherfucker <laughs> over here killing them bitches. Like, his mom's going to pick up the bill. You know what I mean? Like, yo, this cat just made him money? Like, yeah, I mean, I'm looking yeah, at him yeah. like, damn, baller. You know what I mean? <laughs> Living in Florida really got you good, huh? You know what I mean? But, like, I felt some type of way about it. They was, <laughs> they questioned me why I was upset about it. I'm like, bro, I didn't get two milk. Like, this motherfucker over here, he got the most expensive meal, damn near. And then he got, like, fucking multiple, yeah. Yeah. you know what I mean, drinks. You had to pay for some of those. And then it's like, yeah. And, like, me, I got, like, a fucking, you know, just, like, I think it was just a big-ass sampler of some kind. It was huge. But I was still, like, I didn't get no fucking big-ass meal. So he, he didn't pay at all? Well, we split it. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, so I mean, I paid a portion of your shit, dog. I should have got a steak. Man. Right, you should. Yeah, I mean, I should have got a. Like, I should have oh, got. I need something for. Uh, yeah, let me to get go. that. Yeah, let me get the How surf and surf to go. World. How in the world did you? No, I wouldn't have paid for that. I, I would. I, I would have. No, like, I made him split the shit. Oh, okay. I was like, no, that'd have been like my check. Yeah, he got put. He got to put an extra ten in or something. Because man, I'm telling you, me and my wife go out with anybody. I don't care who it is. Let me, uh-huh, buddy. Uh-huh. Let, me, let me get that because I ain't got time. You're giving me some head later on or something. I ain't got time no, for that. <laughs> Pause. That was Diddy. Yeah, no. Nah, he, that's what old boy. <laughs> oh, okay, for the record, old boy at the table, bro. You should have said, all right, yo, I, I pick up the bill. We all going back to my house. I'm fucking everybody. What? Except for the birthday girl. She going home because that's my daughter. That. You can't say that. To well, then, no, then why am I paying your bill? No, because some women, see, what's been going on? I'm these, not your these man. People, these people, are, these ladies think you're just supposed to just dwine and die. I'm not your man. You got to work up to that. Like, if we go out, even though, like, if I go, like, if I was to go out, like, now, take my wife out on a date. Now, no, we can split it. Now, if I you offer. Now, I wife. have paid for friends' food. That's just because I offered yeah. to pay for it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Now, I've had times where it's like, yo, I, I'm up today. I, I want to share the wealth. Or, or I know yeah. somebody might not have as much money as us. So you want to share the wealth? So yeah, I, I definitely pay for people's I'm food not before. Listening. Yeah, I'm not saying that, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. In those type of needs, if or we got a buy birthday party, drinks. yeah, that's all, I'm only paying for the birthday girl. I'm not paying for oh for a whole party. Nah, no, no, that's what I'm no. saying. No, that whole thing. No, no. much they just ate. No. Now those were my kids. On yeah, me? like that was all my my grown kids and everybody. Yeah, like all that. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. You know what I mean? But I seen the person have to get two credit cards and some money up. Yo, man, that's uh, I think that bill was like seven hundred bucks or something. You I know what I mean? It's like, oh hell no! Nah. I seen somebody like trying to stuff. Oh, did you? You saw the video with the the bigger crowd, uh, where it was all young young yeah. folks, and he was like, hell no! Nah, you over here having lamb chop? You over here having steak? You having lobster tails? Yeah, on, you know what I'm saying? We over here had salads. You know what I'm saying? You want us to split this shit? Hell now my no. wife's uncle, when we went to this thing in Detroit for her cousin's uh, wedding, he rented out this this. Uh, this 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 steakhouse, uh-huh. and they like they gave up like free or, like oysters like he paid for everything. Yeah, they just kept bringing oysters out like crab like like whatever you wanted. Damn, they were just bringing it out. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then hell yeah, like that's first time I seen that shit up close. Like just giving you free lamb chops. Oh like, shit, that was loud. He said, oh, shit, oh, you ain't got the mic on. I can't hear it. That shit was all loud in the mic. <laughs> was My bad, guys. Out. Hell yeah. What just happened, bro? You just yeah, shout, <laughs> shout out to the gang. I, I, this dude I got fucked one, up. More, one more topic. Go ahead, man. What else do we got to talk about besides the, the Hawk 2 girl? No, let's talk about that Kendrick Lamar. That shit was fire. Man. I mean, I, I ain't going to No, listen. don't do that. Okay, okay, okay. Don't do that. That was fire. Give him his props. I Just like let it. it go. No, it was fire. I that like was him. fire. Because at the end of the day, don't, don't be listen, like that. listen, let me, let me speak my piece, okay? And I'm, I'm going to be done with the beef, okay? Because I do shed, I, listen, I only shed hate because I don't like bullies, okay? That's the only reason I'm Who's saying this. Who's the bully? Kendrick Lamar and his, well, no, maybe not Kendrick Lamar what? himself, but his fans. No, Drake mm. needs to anybody listen. trying to represent that. Drake had his run, bro. They yes, had I, run. Listen, I'm not, okay. it's over with. And I'm not speaking about the beef or nothing like so that. So Kendrick I'm Lamar speaking is about a new my, breed my of shade, artists, okay? But he he's a new breed of artist. I love Kendrick Lamar. Yes. Outside yes. of this beef, I was a, one of the biggest Kendrick Lamar fans. Yeah. Because you know, Good Kid, Mad City was one of my favorite yes. albums. Yes. And it still yes. is. Just like yes. ADHD was one of my favorites. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. That, I fucked with yes. Kendrick really heavy. That's what you know I'm saying. Talking about. Section 80. Yeah. That was my shit, bro. I yeah. literally listened to all of them. You don't mm-hmm. even know what the fuck that is, do you, Cole? What? All of his. Section see? 80? Yeah. She don't know. You heard him. She don't listen you heard to that. Section 80? Yeah. yeah. What's I his, listened what's to him. Don't ask. I, can't, listen, I okay. can't even okay. tell you. Okay, the I got Gucci you. Gucci Man songs and stuff right now. Okay, Gucci Man. All right. Yeah, but um, so like I do fucking shit. That's my favorite. But I'm just saying, I just. I heard his music. I just, you know, I was, you know, rooting for the underdog. Who? Drake? Yeah, I felt like he was underdog. No, he wasn't an underdog. He got a taste of well, his Well, it's just medicine. because the thing is, is Drake really doesn't have a squad. Man, Drake been Drake literally is out here standing by himself. <laughs> and he literally, like, like you just got draked. Yeah, you know I what I'm saying? By the whole industry. Yeah, that shit <laughs> just hit me all in the face. Hell yeah. Um, Talking about the sixth god. No, 
that dude is <laughs> real fucking. It's over, man. The time is over. No, he's still all that he, singing he and lollygagging. Nobody want to hear that. I like that shit. Yeah, I do too. But. See, exactly. Why well, hating on him? I'm Listen, not hating. I like him. I like it. I like Drake. I, never I like enough. Kendrick too, though. That's but what Kendrick, I, like Kendrick, I mean, I do like not like us, but I I've created a hatred in my mind because of the fan base of the cockiness. You on know his, what they just did on the internet? They that was a smart move. Whoever on Kendrick Lamar's team, that was a smart ass. Well, move. the way they fucked it up for everybody is because oh. all the no, no, just just the press and the coverage that they're showing so far on the internet. Because the only thing you see right now is oh, Kendrick Lamar played the same song six times. Blah 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 blah. You know what? But you did? they didn't show. If you actually watched the show, Dr. Dre came out first and did his whole set. Dr. Dre had a bomb ass song came out through. You know what I'm saying? He came out and did forgot about Dre. And like Dre came out and killed that shit. Yeah. And then Kendrick Lamar killed, like they had some people up in that bitch. Yeah. It wasn't just, you know, him coming out and doing a fucking Kanye move and spitting the same song all but day. But that was a smart ass you feel move. Me? That was a smart ass move. Yo, he had fucking back on fig up there. Yeah. You see that shit? I don't know if you guys watch Back on Fig. You don't know, do you Cole? It's <laughs> you a know, it's a podcast. <laughs> But he had, but it was a spinoff of No Jumper. They the ones that left No Jumper. Oh, okay. And but he saw he, that fucking little hobbly ass dude smack, suck my Kendrick dick, smack. Kendrick Lamar is fire, and I'm glad that he turned up like that. That was brilliant. That was a brilliant move. And then to shoot that video like they did under six times, but each time he brought people out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that was that was well, most definitely yo, a they smart said, move. Yo, listen, they said that shit was so live that every time that he dropped it, the crowd acted like it was a brand new song. Come on, bro. You they know went wild that? like it was something brand new. The streams just went up yeah. 100%. Yeah. They fucking... Like, they killed it they for said that, that single. They said that song right there literally yeah, just... Every time he single. sang it, it was like a new song. Just bro, he They were going bananas. That. And then if you watch every time they performed it, the, how the crowd just... I think it's crazy that it did it back to back, though. Yeah, that, that was a smart move because now... Cole, think you about know what song we're talking about? Streaming. No, I was about to say what song. Now they pop the, the Kendrick Lamar concert he just did. He just right. made He did it. a Kendrick and Friends one night only show in L.A. And he brought every gang from L.A. up on stage with him at one point. And yeah. they were all... They had their flags together, but they call that shit like that. United. Yeah. Yeah, I mean he had the Bloods and Crips hanging out and shit on his stage. That was the and like they he ever. brought all of LA together for one night only. And he performed that song that this he did to Drake. Not mm-hmm. like us. Yeah. He smart performed move. that song six times back to back. Yeah, smart move. And the crowd went bananas over it. Smart. Every, they said smart every thing. single time yeah. they acted like it was, it was something like, like over yeah. and over well, they quoted it. It was the, they acted like it was a brand new song. Like, because you got they was going like that, that like beat. Hype. yeah, that beat is something uh-huh. fucking well, crazy. Yeah, I heard that, and so then mustard mustard just about. drops <laughs> and says he made the beat in thirty minutes. Yeah, because that's an old yeah, that's an old um, a sample. Detroit. Yeah, it's a Detroit boy sample. Yeah, they got it off them. It's easy to make a beat around a sample, I yeah. guess, isn't it? It's, it ain't nothing but a pace. Yeah, man, we could do that shit. Man. Yeah, we can turn up. How DJ busted on the beat, hey! <laughs> I got my little DJ skill too. Do, 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 do. All right, go ahead, test out. I got my turntable set up. I have a whole, I have videos of me back there. Oh, Remember yeah. when we first built the studio? When uh-huh. we was back there, I was back there. When, that was when Drew used to come over. Yeah, he said, "Fuck you, Damn, fuck Drew. you, go. Damn, I don't fuck with you, go. Not just me. He don't fuck with the podcast. He don't like none of us wow. no more. Like, he don't like us no Damn. more. What happened, Drew? Probably, uh, so we don't know. Well, we know Damn. what happened. Cole, no. what? Not me, Cole? no. She talked Goodness to gracious! Nah, nah, I have no idea. What is she doing out here? It's the it's one of the mysteries we may never find dun, dun, out. Dun, dun, dun. I don't think he watches us either, though. Cole, he, Cole. he reads our messages. <laughs> we do got him in the group chat. Uh. Yeah, he's still in the podcast. Chat. Hey, I'll be looking yeah. like these motherfuckers yo, are even in the group. Yo, you know what we need to do when his birthday comes up? We need to tell him happy birthday. <laughs> all, all in the group. What is his yeah, birthday? Do that. I don't know. <laughs> this dude fucking silly. It's probably yesterday. He said, "I don't know." He said, "Probably yesterday." I don't know. Oh shit! You have him on Facebook. Merry Christmas, Drew. <laughs> Happy Fourth of July. Happy Fourth. <laughs> Yo, we should it's all start doing guys. that. Not to anybody else, just him in the chat. Well, I mean, it has to ding on his phone because he <laughs> reads the messages. <laughs> you think he would have left or something? I think. I wonder if he misses us. I, I don't know. You think it's Maybe. like a secret? Like, I wonder. Cause I, I doubt, girl, I doubt his girl, girl. that's reading them. Like, I don't know if they're. Know. I don't even know if they're together. I don't know nothing. I have literally no clue. I don't know. I don't even know. I, like I don't even ask. Well, I'll find out here soon when football season starts. You better not talk to him in front of his girl. He gonna snap. <laughs> he said, "Get your hands off my girl." He was no, upset. I don't know. Yo, he messaged me and told me to tell you. I walked past him and said hi, and then he said hi, and then he said something. 
I don't even remember what we even said. And I said something and we walked apart. It was it wasn't like we were sitting there fucking talking and shit, and that bitch is weird as hell for that. Damn, what she, she happened, gonna, Carly? She gonna beat your ass. ass. Who is gonna be? She a fighter. I don't care. Damn, Carly, Carly, you, you think fight? I'm scared? I will. No, you better leave her alone. I like Carly, her. Carly, what you got I wouldn't. Going on? First of all, I only I met her one time, but she was, I guess, chill. I don't know her, but just by looking at her, but I assume she if ain't he, gonna beat me up. I assume if my man <laughs> likes her though. She has to be somewhat I. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, yeah. but I ain't got no interest in Drew like that at all. Like, she just kind of went the whole wrong way with it. Like, mm-hmm. it just didn't even make sense. Damn. Okay. She wanted to fight you, Carl. That's what it sounds like. Had, no, it she might just be a, an just any. Me. It might just be an any woman type of thing. Yeah, that, 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 that good point. I don't know. Good yeah. point, Aaron. I mean, a lot of girls be like, "Oh, I don't want you talking to her." Why? I don't want your fucking dude. Like. What yes, is the reason for that? Cole, how many guys have you stole? From, how, how many times have you messed with a guy who met with somebody? Yeah. Go ahead. On accident. Tell the truth. On accident because the guy didn't tell me he was with somebody? Yes. That's probably almost almost every guy I've ever talked to. Because every guy around here be in relationships and be trying to Holla do bitches. shit. Get them called. Ain't that crazy? That's why I don't Get talk to call. nobody. Because they're like, no, I ain't So the ratio of men trying to holla at you compared to the single men. It's crazy. Most of them got girls. Damn. Yeah. That's sad. Cold. So you'd be like, going to their page, literally, they'd be holding hands with no, their bitches. No, no, it'd be like people I know, but like, but bro, I know you fuck with her, or, you know what I'm saying, you would, like, why? Oh, so they, they like, in a friend group trying to smash. I ain't saying friends, just because I know who they are, and I know that they have, like, a girl. Damn. I mean, you ain't friends with everybody, but you know. So you'd be like, yo, a girl, or do you let them know, be like, dude. yo, bro, I know you're, you're I know your dad. <laughs> 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 you know your dad that's some oh. freaky ass shit Carl. no 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 that, did we talk, did we talk about right. this yeah, yeah you get an argument did, oh, I thought we talked about it a little bit okay. we did but no I mean with mm-mm. Tyler we talked a little bit about it yeah but we, we didn't felt. like specify what we was talking about though do you want to talk about it I don't, I don't care I mean we're deep in the pod now if somebody was tuning off they would have tuned off by now so <laughs> now we can really get spicy with Cole what's going on okay Cole yeah. Cole. so okay so uh, I used to where I used Cold to live. 2024. Yeah, where I used to live. <laughs> okay, let me just break it down. There we go. All right, make sure you got the mic mic tightly. This chair is yep. uncomfortable in my booty. But anyway, Story time. So where I used to live prior to moving, there was this guy down there that I would see all the time. And I'm like, oh, he's cute. But I would never talk to him. Because one, like I said, I'm just not like really like that. But like once you start to know me, I'll be talkative. But for the most part, I'm quiet. So I never said anything to him. So today, just like out the blue... You know, I'd like heart his little picture or something because he was looking cute in the mirror. So he inboxed me. So I've been like literally talking to him all day. Wait, whoa. I know, listen. He just inboxed you? Yeah, he was in his Spider Man underwear. Wow. <laughs> no, he wasn't like, in wow. underwear. He said, spin the web over here. No, but I don't know. I've been like, um, well, I need to go up a little bit no, more. No, you good. Yeah, it doesn't. So it'd be falling down on me. Here we go. What That's probably said, though. Yeah, you good. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm trying to think. Okay. But anyway, I've been talking to him all day. So here, I come over to Aaron's house. And, um, <laughs> this is where it gets I'm good. Sitting, I was sitting there talking to him, right? And he was like, what you doing? And I was like, oh, about to do this podcast real quick. He was like, oh, what's the podcast name? And I was like, it's called The Break Room Podcast. He was like, oh, well, send me a link or whatever. So I sent him a link. And he was like, oh, I know that podcast. And I was like, oh, for real, what, it, how? He was like, that's my dad, my dad's friend's, or my, my friend's dad's podcast. So here. He's my son's he's friend. his son's friend. <laughs> but the, the funniest part. That's not the part, banger. Like, okay, look, the funniest part is, is he was like, do you know whose son's that is? So I was sitting there thinking, I was like, okay, I'm, let me look. And look in my mind, I'm name. like, okay. I'm like, all right, let me see think. what this dude looks like. So I'm like comparing like his head, like what he looks like to, to someone we know. And then the last name. And I was like, oh, is it Blank Blake's son? And he was like, yep. I was like, oh, my God, I went to school with the kid. Wow. I went to school. Yes. Wow. Went to school with his dad. Went to school with Damn. his dad. That's a hard one to swallow. So is it acceptable? That's what I'm saying. So I'm sitting here. He's like, what, like 25, 24? 23. Okay, about to be 24. <laughs> wow. But I mean, but I don't know. What do you think, Ma? Is it acceptable for a woman to date somebody <clears throat> 18 like, years younger than her? Yeah, 
Honestly, I can't tell nobody how to do this shit because you gotta think about it. They gonna choose who they want to. But well, no, I know, but we want to know. We want to know your I don't, opinion. I don't deal with kids. Like I got enough kids. <laughs> so do you think it's wrong if do you think it'd be fucked up? Yeah, if she, I, don't, I don't think you should be looking at nobody. I think it's a little weird. Because if you, that's people that's still so should she not link with him? No, nah, hell no. Nah. Okay, that's what I think. I think. So she got a you got weird. one vote for no. No, you got two. I say hook my homie up. Look at you. But that doesn't mean I'm would ever do it. You know, I'm think like I'm not gonna about to go. Is home Tyler coming? It. I mean, is Nika coming home tonight? <laughs> no. Uh, 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 oh, no. insert fun music now. It's going down. No. Fuck it. Yo, you only live once. Yeah. Listen. You only live once, Carl. So, hold on. But so, the, if, if, but hold on. But the thing is, is though, is like. So, if, mom, if somebody Mont's age were to mess with somebody 23 years old, would it be fucked pervert. up? Yeah. Listen, I don't think it would be a problem, to be honest. I, listen. You I mean, it's not I my just, forte, but 23, 25. I just ain't looking. I, I just need think, to see where his mindset is at. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's age. what I've been trying to conversate with, like. Cause I could like, now, like eighteen I said is earlier, crazy, but oh, yeah, twenty five. I think twenty five. I think twenty five is decent. Yeah. Nah. Cole, twenty five is good, right? For say, a man, I mean. I say, I, nah, because you got. Think Listen, about, if I'm sixty and I'm smashing a twenty five year old boy. You best you believe begin, I'm high five and pains with my boys. That's what I'm saying. You know what yeah, I'm saying? you be getting props for that. I mean, as long as he don't don't act young and immature and be on some drama I mean, bullshit type shit then that's different yeah because there are some ones that's younger that don't be on shit like that Hell like, yeah you know? these females but giving it up he he seems like he's on his you know what i'm saying he on the right track of life like just like these are you on the right track who so oh he wasn't that kid that was sending them fucking studio pics of fucking oh my god talking what? about what yo i wonder if he's watching he's gonna watch this pod but if he is bro but no he just you needs, pick it up and you, you plug the plugs in that's it you're he pretty just, much there wow. you just want to make sure he has everything he needs you know what i mean yeah. he don't know what he's doing you know what yo, he doing. sent there a picture of a microphone and a speaker so what did you he like said that's what i got what, what do you <laughs> like better call do you like older men or younger? Like she like young guys. No, no, I'm just, I don't though. But honestly, we just had this conversation. You what, say you don't the, like old guys. No, no, I just want to know. What's I'm not the, saying old guys. Like I ain't trying to be with like a sixty year yeah, old. So you ain't. You don't want nobody forty nine. Yeah, I would. Do you? On, depend on how he was and stuff. If yeah. he acted young. Yeah, I don't want to be. I you mean, like young minded. You like no, not like young minded. I, I energetic. Like to get, yes, yes, energetic. I like to I outside. Be out you like outsiders. Outsiders. Yeah, you no, want, like you want somebody to bounce around all day. Somebody that stops at all the bars and says what's up to all the homies what? and, no, I don't and gives know. daps to all the hugs all the bitches. And like the he's the neighborhood no. player. He's just trying to be funny right now. Nah, I'm being serious. You know what I'm talking about. One player. You want he's another fan. um what's his name? Uh, yeah, Rob. He just says you go out to the My boy is a neighborhood celebrity. Everybody knows that, Every, Well, yeah. just because everybody know him. And he he makes sure when he see you, he embrace you. He so he, does he make every listen, time he Listen, that's why me. people love him. One that's love, what mayors do. Love. You know what I'm saying? He could, guy, listen, if he wasn't love. doing what he, he want to do, he could literally be a mayor. He could be somebody. Because um, everyone definitely yeah, cause, him. Because what he does, he'll literally, when you see him, this motherfucker's like... Oh man, man up, pull, how you been? Man, he will man. pull you in. He'll make you feel like your brothers. You He's know always saying? like, "Cool, you all right? You need anything? He be like, you need some money? Yeah. And I'll be like, yeah. he'll be like this. Oh like, yeah, let me get twenty. I'm like, no, no, he don't be doing twenty. He be like hundred. Right, let me get five hundred. Let me get five hundred. I'm like, no, nah, I don't need that. I'm good. Uh, yeah. He's like, you sure? You sure? You sure? Anything you need? I'm like, no. Nah, oh, yeah, well, let me you, get blunt. Let me get. At least he, at least he's still nice. Let me get a hundred dollars. Get my nails did. I honestly like that's one person I could say I could. Well, y'all was together for like what two years. It was a little while. I could, oh, call, I could probably call home right now and be like, I'm in a bind, blah, blah, blah. I need like five, six hundred dollars. He'd be like, all right, I'm about to pull up. Damn. No questions asked. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, it's just someone I know I could always count on if I was ever in a, uh, a bad situation that I needed something. You see this, Aaron? Somebody yeah. loves Coley Co. Mm -hmm. I got a couple people I know I could see? count on. Just like a couple people know that they could count on me. So do you have any uh, male, male friends that you don't fuck with? Yeah, I got a... Quite a few male friends that I don't fuck with or and never you, had sex with or nothing. Do you think that if you offered them po coochie that they would take it? Offer them coochie. What type of... I saw this on a podcast, Josh. Um, 
No, no, no. I don't know. Maybe one or two of them. <laughs> really? Because yeah, you know most guys, they be but like. No, for the most but part, I mean, no. I guess the ones that you just know just randomly in a bunch. You know what I'm saying? I can say right now, I know neither one. I know you be playing around, but I know yeah, you I'm be cold. playing around. You know what I mean? But neither one of you guys would. Yeah, no, I'm good. If I'd be like, hey, who? And I'd look on. Look nah, on, I don't like honkies. How long have I known you? Uh, you don't like what? 20 years. 20 something nah, years. Nah, I have no idea. Yeah. I don't like honkies. My girl's black. Okay. I'm not like white. I no, I'm just fucking with you. I, like, I'm just fucking yeah. with you, Cole. Like, and my girl's actually Native American. I, I, I can't even. No, but I'm just saying, like, you guys are two of my friends that I would know. I could be like, yeah. hey, let's have nah, I was just trying to like, get, nah. listen. I, I saw a video. I was just trying to get you to end up calling oh, yeah, somebody no. and be like, hey, what's up? Mm-hmm. You want to kind of link up tonight? I want, I want you. And to like, know. I really went through my mind and sat here and thought about all my guys. I call PZ. Call PZ. No, PZ wouldn't. Oh, yeah, right. He's going to be like, all right, what you doing right now? No, he'd be like, And I can hear him right now. All right, what you doing right now? Yeah, Why don't you no. let him pull up real quick? That, that would probably, like, stun him. He like, said, let what? me pull, like, up. Let me pull up real quick. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't know. He said, one, two, three. All right, I'm out. I honestly Damn. don't think he would. Damn. <laughs> you fucked up. You fucked up in so would. many different ways. <laughs> so, Hell, yeah. <laughs> now, but, listen. He's just trying to keep the no, podcast cause... going and talking. That's all. Uh, I like his attitude. Hey, you got to. We're having a good podcast. Yeah. Because yeah. you suck. <laughs> as long as you don't get too high and interrupt me all day. No, I'm joking. You, you good. Yes, you did a great job today. Shout out to oh, Ma. Wow. Shout out to Ma. I feel accomplished. Shout out to Cole today, though, huh? She showed out on the Cole cast. Oh, whatever. That's the name of today's episode, Cole cast. <laughs> the Cole cast. <laughs> the Cole cast. Don't do that. Oh, yeah. The Cole cast. Hell yeah, that's what's up though. Shout out, but all right, let's get the hell out of here though. It's your boy DJ. It's almost eleven o'clock. About hey. to leave the building hey. on our two and a half hour pod. Hey. Shout out to Squad. We really did the thing today. We did. Friday fucking pod. We're gonna be back in here on Thursday, right? Every yes, sir. Time Thursday night. What time? This. We put it out. Whatever time you ready. Just Cold what time's really good for you. I'm off all day. I'm free all day. I get off work. I'll be done by four. Mm-hmm. And you can catch me in and the I'm, morning. And I'm off on Friday. Well, as of now, I'm off on Friday, so. Okay. Well, I got to work next Friday. I got to work oh, every day. So. Oh, damn. Even Thursday. So. Damn, I can't dog, go to Steak and Shake. They're going to be closed. Damn, dog. And I will be reporting live to let you know what's going on with my girl's high school reunion. Yay. I'm about to embarrass the fuck Saturday out of this stuff. Yeah, that's how you piss me off, girl. I'm about to get it out now. I'm going to come in and motherfucking... High water tux, you know what I'm saying? Glad I'm gonna wear some fucking with glasses the without the lenses. You know what I mean? What's going on, guys? How you doing? You right the fuck out. I couldn't do that. She's like, baby, no. What are you doing? I'm gonna go there looking like a crackhead. Like Aaron, stop it. Like yeah, I'm gonna whisper. Yeah, man, stop it. Like a dick for a rock. <laughs> for, you prostitute, not a crackhead. Right? <clears throat> Just to try and embarrass her. Yeah, nah, that would be crazy. <laughs> Walk out of bitch for twenty bucks. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> She fired. You getting out? Oh That's shit! That's all you gonna hear. No. Don't come back and take that crazy motherfucker with you. <laughs> it's a high school reunion. She'll never see these motherfuckers again. Oh, they ain't gonna make it. There's only ten people going. The rest what? of them are. That's how it was for my high school reunion. That's why I didn't even go. Ten people. Like, That's it. We Damn. had like over a hundred people. That's what graduate. she said. There might be more people. I assume. Yeah, no. We had uh, over a hundred people and some graduate, and like there was like ten or fifteen of them at the high school reunion. Damn. I couldn't go because, like, I was all fat and pregnant and shit. Yeah. So, I mean, I assume there were going to be 20 people there because everybody got one person probably with them. <laughs> Except for me. <laughs> oh, yeah. You would show up solo, huh? Hell yeah, I would. Damn. So, I'm sure there's going to be a couple solo. of those. couple solo riders. You know what I'm saying? But we out of here. Lamont 330 in the building. Yeah, yeah. Coley Cole. Cole cast. <laughs> Episode 36. It's your boy DJ. Hey, hey, hey. We out of here. Holla. Oh shit, I forgot to record. Fuck, we gotta do this one more time.